Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Let's continue with some calamity. Valdak, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Fantastic indeed. Uh, let me just double check these mods again, because I immediately forgot. And back into the game. And I can't really... I remember I was sort of wondering where we should go next. Um, probably the Abyss. Except don't trigger the I want to be the guy death sequence by using Rod of Discord. Um, Summoner makes a ton of sense for the Abyss. Let's put this uh, Cosmic Worm away. I don't think the Devourer of Gods is something we want to be fighting right now based on what I saw last time. Uh, let's see, Devourer of Gods. It is the fourth last boss in the entire game. So I think we could probably do with putting that off a little bit. Um, let's see, summons. Ben Wu, BG Nymond, Al Albion Lane, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What armor is that? You almost look like a creeper from Minecraft. Uh, it is just the creeper vanity set. Um, I think it's probably one of the... Without looking it up, I don't know, but I think it's probably one of the rare drops um, from killing bosses in... Is it expert mode or master mode? Um... It's it's gated by what difficulty level you're playing on, and it's uh, rare drops that you get complete sets of vanity items, like... Uh... I think this is Calamity, actually, this one. There's a bunch of sets that say, good for impersonating devs, when you point at them. Uh, is this it? No? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, they're, they're rare drops from difficult bosses on a difficult, uh, on a high difficulty setting. So you have to be able to farm them, or get very lucky. Um, okay. I should probably put the Rod of Discord, uh, out of sight this time. And I'll probably buff... I've only got one summoning potion left. I do want to go to the trouble... Whoa, that looked weird. I do want to go to the trouble of having that one extra summon as well. You know what? I'm moving this music box because every time I hear it, I'm like, yes, this rocks, and then I leave before it gets started. Um, so let's put it down somewhere over here. Am I too far away from it? No? How far can I be? Okay, this looks good. Yes. No, I think I heard the music start changing a bit. Let's move it to the middle. Um, workbench. Right down about... Let's just put it here. Why not? And I might put the creeper gear away for now. Um, we want all of the buffs, please. Whoops. Uh, how many summon slots do I have? One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve? Really? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We do indeed have twelve summon slots. Okay. Uh, I want to make sure the summons are as early as possible in our list of buffs. So they don't disappear. So I'll start with... What ratio do I want? Probably like a four length dragon. And that leaves eight slots for other things. We could just go like eight Terra Prismas and one Dragon. I think I want one more type of minion though, so that we've got better coverage. Um... Oh, the Xeno staff is a material. I remember now there's a whole bunch of crafting we are still yet to do. I don't think we have access to Auric Bars. Um, Rainbow Crystal Staff is a sentry. That's not what we're looking for. Oh, I know. Uh, I think it's in the piggy bank, actually. Yeah, here we go. Uh, Godspawn Helix Staff. Let's go with, like... Uh, how about four, four, and four? Uh, I think probably a little less dragon is fine. Like two dragon, six terra prismas, uh, and four of these would be a good ratio. Alright. So, summon... Uh, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. Fantastic. And then we'll get all our other buffs after that. So hopefully the, the summons won't disappear at some point when our buffs get shunted. All right. Um, I think we're as ready as we can be. Oh, wow. Uh, let's head into the Abyss. Let's get some gills and flipper potions. Evening, I am the Sky. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, I could have used the conch. Down we go. All of the buffs. Wait, we're still drowning? Even with a gills potion? Oh, you're joking. We don't have room for the buff? Get out of here, sugar rush. Uh, I don't need sharpened. I should stop picking up irrelevant buffs. Don't need ammo box. Uh, there we go. I really wish it didn't have this limit of buffs, because, uh... Oh, we're, dry we're, we're just dying as well. Are we going to get far enough down? Before we stop taking damage? There we go. Um, I think I would like to take... Ow. Take this chest. What's this? Torrential Tear. Summons the rain. Oh, I think we got one of those already, actually. How much longer is this, uh... Oh, cool. Damage over time and potion sickness also knocks... 
Are you serious? Are we gonna die this way? Oh my god. I should have been using the shiny stone. To offset that. Probably don't generally want to dash down here anyway. Um, I note that this isn't dropping flamey things at this spot right here like it was before. Um, I do need the potions handy. I guess I'll have to be a bit more selective with my buffs. Strange Orb. Summons a miniature ocean spirit light pet. Provides a large amount of light while underwater. Okay. I'll take that. Yeah, it looks like the shiny stone can offset the damage over time down here. Evil Plum, good to see you again. A welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so it seems like at least so far down we can explore somewhat safely if we just take our time. What's hitting me? Viper vines. The vines hurt? That's so rude. Down we go. Um, do I have a shine potion active? I do. Believe it or not. Abyssal treasure. Oh, those are containers. What's this? Whatever it is, it's dead. This is... Oh, Scoria Ore. This is where we get it. And a lot of it. Fantastic. No, it wasn't the vines. Viper vines. Yeah, it wasn't the vines that hurt us. Uh, should I mine this? What is it? Abyss Gravel. I'm not expecting that to be too valuable. Can be placed material... Uh, never mind. We need it to make... Provides breathing and light underwater. L what? 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 Oh, the stupid gills potion. The buff probably got offset. I don't think that was four minutes, was it? Bloody hell. Okay. That wasn't even overconfidence. Also, where's the overconfidence sound? Oh, bloody hell. Mix it up. Update it again. Normally it loads in one click, but sometimes it's sneaky when I'm loading all of my streaming uh, programs. Click, click, click. It hides in the background saying, you got to click to log in. Um, it's not even an update. Why didn't it load? Let's make sure it's working. Which I normally do, but I forgot. Where are we? Remind yourself that overconfidence. Not only that, all your summons went poof, but one. Yeah, it's a problem. Um, I'm gonna have to trim all these buffs that we're using. Um, so we need, well, we don't really need flipper potion if I swap the, uh, swap the wings. Calming potion is a good idea. Gills potion is required. Stimulants? Mm, I would say so. 
food, definitely. Omniscience, yes. Vision, yes. Defense, regen. I guess I don't need... Wait, since when does Endurance Potion only give us a 5% damage reduction? Was it always like this in Calamity? Did I just not notice, or did they change it? Life Force Potion, you're out of here. Um... So, our buffs... We've got four slots for minions, because we can't get rid of the Stardust Guardian as a buff slot. Um... And then... 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... 11, 12, 13... I think this counts as 3... 16... 17? Eighteen. And then, like, Potion Sickness is going to take up a slot, and if we're taking damage over time, it's going to take up a slot. Ugh, this is... This is actually kind of annoying. Uh, I guess I'll drop the Endurance Potion. Where's my safe? Uh, swiftness, not that big of a deal, either. I think that's gonna be it. Alright, let's stack this stuff away. Do we not have Abyssal Treasures? Uh, that's right, they're containers. And then we just stack this away. Okay, what's in the Void Bag? Too much? Can we put this here as a Light Pet? I like that. It's nice and, uh... Okay, that's distracting, but it's a nice color at least. Put this light pad away. Okay, take 600. Let's go to the abyss. So we're just gonna take... Uh, Bewitched. Go to the abyss. Or the, uh, this area anyway. All of the buffs. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That should be a pretty good balance. We've got five whole slots not currently consumed. Uh, if I just stand here, Shiny Stone is gonna... Nope, we're actually still slowly dying. What if I stand here? Okay, we can now gain life. Without a potion. What are we hunting in the abyss? I'm just trying to explore it. Devilfish. That sounds safe. Oh, that, <laughs> that was brutal. Depth cells. Did I miss anything up here? Not really. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Okay. What is this? Scoria? I should probably be mining it, right? I can actually mine it very, very quickly. Why are we drowning? I'm pressing B, the gills potion is there. 
We've got three minutes of Gil's potion. Are you joking? This is... cool and great, actually. Ow. I can't help but imagine the look on the face of someone as they designed this area. Uh, it menaces with spikes. Also, good morning, Jimbo Panda. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We got an archer fetch, which we need for Megalodon, which we need for who knows what. It's a small upgrade to Mega Shark. But it's also a material. Depth Cells, Luminal, Tenebris. I don't know where we get the other two. But I'll put this in the waiting to be upgraded ranged box. Oh, that's a lot. Um, stack that away. On the plus side, we have more room in our inventory. So yeah, Gil's Potion's still active. We are still losing oxygen. It's not exactly challenging if you're aware of all of the mechanics, it's just kind of annoying. More than kind of annoying, I'm just gonna have to spend a lot of money on potions of recall. And we're losing air faster now. Okay, so I guess we're... Are we supposed to farm up the stuff that we need to stay in the Abyss indefinitely without going deeper than this? Is that how this works? Um, Abyss Gravel gives us... Reduces defense loss in the Abyss, provides breathing and light underwater. I'm, I'm even skeptical that this is going to give us infinite breath down there. That's the idea, yeah, that's... I'm not terribly impressed. Abyss gravel wall, smooth abyss gravel, okay. So we need depth cells, which we've got a few of. Gravel, planty mush, planty mush. Sea remains? I don't think we've seen any sea remains. We also need the spider gear to upgrade, but that's trivial at this point. Could you make an air bubble down there? I doubt it. We can try. I think there would be an air bubble here if that was the case. Um, we don't need a second strange... Oh, fuff. Well, rip, uh, rip our portal, it's fine. This is fine. Let's put our, I'll put the Abyss Gravel in Hard Mode Calamity Chest since we need it to craft things. Have you heard of the Abyssal Diving Suit? I was building that, but I don't think we got all of it together. I really dislike the arbitrary nature of the Abyss. Can we go anywhere else to progress? We haven't killed Betsy yet, but I don't think we really can. Profaned Guardians. Profaned Shard. Luminite Bars. Unholy Essence. 
the essence of profaned creatures. I don't remember where we get that, if I've found out at all. Uh, dragonfly, solar fragments, and life alloy. Use exotic pheromones in the jungle biome. Enrages outside of the jungle. Okay. So five life alloy. Which we need... Cryonic bars, scoria bars, and perennial bars for. Uh, we've got scoria ore in here somewhere. Oh, unholy essence. Didn't we need that a second ago? Or was that something else? Profane shard. Yeah, we can... We can make that. Let's do it now. Refined shard. Don't tell me I already made one before I make a copy. Uh, we don't need two torrential tears. Just get rid of it. And I'm not seeing it. So I think we're okay to just craft one of these. In the Hallow or Underworld? Why the Underworld? That seems like the last place we'd want to fight them, right? Oh, what is that? Wait, what? Those weren't there before. What the hell? Uh, there's new weird sphere things in space. Or near space. Uh, anyway, what else did we need? Cryonic? I need life alloy. Cryonic bars and scoria bars. Scoria or... Cryonic bar. Okay. And I don't think I've got any... Scoria bars, do I? Scoria bar. We've got one. Okay. Just so that it stacks. I don't think we can ever actually just pick those up randomly, though. Um, do I have another use for Scoria ore itself? It's literally just bricks. Okay. Let's just make all the bars we can. And life alloy. Okay. And we needed life alloy plus... Uh, plus what? Solar fragments. Solar... Fragments. Supreme healing potion. Oh, it's just one unholy essence. We've got how many of these? 51? I should probably upgrade my healing potions. How is a supreme healing potion still a material? <laughs> Omega healing potion. <laughs> Apparently, we're, we're working from a strange definition of supreme. Oh, and we can make the Omegas. If we're going to make this... It's only 10 blood orbs. If we're going to make these, we may as well make the best ones. Um, so let's grab ourselves some... Oh, it requires a cosmic anvil. Never mind. Um, exotic pheromones. Okay. So, judging by the look of it, uh, seems like it could be fun, but after fighting... Which one? Whoa. Okay, Blood Moon. Plaguebringer. After fighting Plaguebringer in particular, 
and Plague Bring is not the only one, but the most memorable in this way. I'm expecting some complete arbitrary nonsense in matching my position in the air no matter how fast I move. So that I can't get around it. Um, I don't really see the point in farming the Blood Moon right now. Actually... Let's put the Profane Shard away. Actually, how ready are we? I mean, Boss Log has sent us astray before, but... Profaned Guardians are supposed to be next. And... Dragonfly right after that. So we'll try these two. I probably shouldn't be wearing Summoner gear for it. But... We'll try and get a feel for these bosses. And because I can't fit enough buffs, I'll put away some of these potions that we're not really going to use. Um, I don't want the strange orb out, because that's going to take up a slot. don't want to count the buffs again. Maybe I should just switch to Mage or Ranger. The reason I went Summoner was to go into the Abyss. Okay. And we want to switch our wings back. Wait, what? And dash. I'll just double check, we do have the Torrential Tear in here, fantastic. I wish that I wish they would give that to you earlier in the game while it still matters. When you're trying to farm uh, uh, Water Leaf and get the Frost Shards from the Snow Biome. Okay. If we're doing a boss fight, it's going to be nothing but uh, Terra Prismas. Where's our Stardust Dragon? And I guess we'll take this as well. Alright, let's go see what this uh, boss looks like. But first, let's make the world a little bit less dark and red. Alright. Buff. I should probably have more buffs, actually. Um, surely we can fit damage reduction in, in speed. Where even is it? Uh, I won't bother with the damage. Endurance. Speed. Okay, that'll probably have to do. Here we go. Oh, that's screwed. It immediately makes a bunch of projectiles behind you. Oh, cool. Um, that's... Where... Holy crap. There's too much on the screen. Yeah, I should have been mage. Or... It's so fast. Okay, I just have to use... Are you kidding me? So I have to know its attack pattern, and I need to use... Uh, Celestial Starboard going up, and Slime Mount going down. 
in order to move fast enough to dodge its dash. Um, I definitely shouldn't be using Summoner for this. Let's put it away. Uh, I'll put the gear over here. Actually, I'll put this here. That'll be easier to pick up later. Summon a specific things on the mannequin. And... Should I go mage or ranger? We're not using nuclear fury, that's just gonna fill the screen with so much stuff that I can't see what's happening. Um, I should definitely keep the Terra Prismas that I can carry. Uh, we've got the Supreme Healing Potions, Cosmic Rainbow, I remember what this does now. Do we have a good direct damage spell for where we're up to? Uh, Nano Purge. Yes, yes we do. It's going to be a bit hard following it, though. I think I should probably go for Homing Bullets instead. And what other weapons? Whoops. Where did that torch go? Oh, it's in my first slot. Okay. Um, we got homing missiles. We're not going to be using it against the boss, though. Where is my loadout? Here we go. This thing outdoes the space dolphin machine gun already. Uh, the hive? Oh, I remember this. This is not going to be what we're using. Vortex popper? Possibly... I think we'll probably just use the planar ripper. Celebration. Scorpio. That should be fine. And ranger specific gear. Roaming bullets. That's acid rounds. Uh, where are our homing bullets? I know we've still got like 7,000. Here they are. I kind of like that. Die, actually. Usually I don't like the look of this helmet. I could steal one of the old Shroomite helmets. I believe this one? Yeah, that's more like it. Okay. We're not using arrows right now. We've got rockets. We've got bullets. Is 4,300 going to be enough? It is, for a while. Um, I don't need sharpened. I don't really need clairvoyance. I will keep bewitched. What's this? Life force? We're running out of potion time, meanwhile. Uh, Night Owl Swiftness, damage, damage reduction. Don't need heart reach. And I should also include ammo reservation potion. Okay. We're about ready.
Everything in order? Question mark? Does it count as leaving the jungle if we go to space? We should probably get used to holding up on the Celestial Starboard, because I don't normally do that. Oh, speaking of going up and down. Uh, we have a traveling merchant. Pretty much just selling paintings. Alright, I think we're as ready as we're going to be. Buff. And... Summon. Oh, wait, what the hell is that? I didn't even see it before because... The summons probably killed it? No, it's got too much health for that. Uh, what? Are you kidding me? What? Serious? I expected the dash, moved up and down as fast as I could, and it was still too fast. What am I supposed to do? I guess I have to try to keep my horizontal distance from it as well. I keep getting lucky somewhat dashing through those. Unless they don't hurt until they start moving, kind of like Empress of Light. I'm actually not even looking at the main screen, I'm just looking at the mini-map because that's how much I have to move to keep avoiding this. And that's where I need to look to have any warning as to what it's doing. Okay. Yeah, I, th I think those things can't hit you until they're moving. Probably. Good grief. It seems rather ridiculous how slow those projectiles move. It's got so much health still. No, it's actually at 40%. I was looking at the little... Uh, little summons. Oh, I forgot to buff my damage, but when I mount, it's gonna... Ow! Holy crap! So, I need to, like... There's more things where I have to pat my head and rub, rub my tummy at the same time while fighting this boss. I need to keep using up and space to fly up fast with the Celestial Starboard. I need to switch to the mount to drop fast. I need to move away from it laterally at the same time. And I need to keep double tapping up to increase my damage. And I have to avoid the little birds. And I have to avoid the projectiles. And I have to avoid flying too high. And I have to avoid bumping into the house. And... I guess that's about it. Bosses post Moon Lord focus on a ton of mobility. Yeah, I don't know what's it, what you're supposed to do with like no soaring insignia and some platform spam against this. I guess have a very specific arena, like perfectly timed to the boss or something. Um, but yeah, I think that was basically working. We just have to do better. However, we're going to get like three shot if we're not careful. Uh, and I saw some stuff appearing in the final phase, which might be a bit over the top. I should keep the Terra Prisma handy.
All right, let's try again. And which one was it? Pheromones. Wait, how's our ammo? It's not bad. So I have to try to, if I can, get away with just falling to get past the dash so that I can keep the damage buff. If I move away, it's not as bad. I should try using this map. And I can focus on the middle of the screen. Yep, that... You can see it's lining up like an arbitrary position match there. Alright, so far so good. I probably shouldn't have been so greedy as to try to keep my damage buff there. But it looks like we can squeak through. Oh, I thought it was dead for some reason. Oh no. I went too high. That could have been bad. And I can't fall fast enough without the mount. What is this that's chasing me? I don't know what it is, but I don't approve. Oh, it's kind of like the dupe fish run bubbles that don't necessarily hit you directly if you move well enough. Uh, no? No, thank you. Are we nearly done? Not even close. Maybe I should flee. We're not playing hardcore, it's fine. If I was only thinking then that maybe I should flee in hardcore, that would be, uh... That would be a fucky-wucky. Ow. Are we almost done here? Hurry up and die, please. Oh, that was close. Okay. I hope we don't have to farm this boss, because... That was not my favorite. It wasn't the worst. At least it was kind of, for the most part, intuitive. Um, so what have we got here? Now would be a good time to start the boss fight again, because I've got buffs. But buffs are cheap in Calamity. For the most part. Let's see what we've got. Oh, and we've got Dragonfly Relic. Where does this go? Dragonfly... Two after the Moon Lord. Fantastic. Okay, we have... Effulgent Feather, 34. We're gonna have to farm this. Uh, what, is it, what does it make, though? I'll check after this. 447 true melee damage. Heals the player on hit. Um, tell me more. I'll definitely give that a whirl if I try a tank build. Sword Splosion. Oh my god. I guess I should have expected something like that at this stage of the game, but still.
Receives 33% benefit from melee speed bonuses. Strong knockback. Not that much damage. I guess all of these are doing that much damage though, so... I don't know, it doesn't look easy to get that many hits on, on what you might be aiming at. Uh, what else did we get? Stack these things away. Strange plants, reflective copper dye. Probably not. Uh, effulgent. Did I get anything else? No, that was it. Oh, dynamo stem cells. Increased movement speed. Ranged weapons have a chance to fire mini swarmers. Grants immunity to dragon fire and electrified. Okay, we need to see what mini swarmers are. Um, about this. I'm not seeing anything that looks like what you would call a mini swarmer. Uh, let's not waste our bullets. Oh, I think I saw them. They are very inconsistent. Let's find something to test them on. Oh, okay. That's probably still pretty damn weak for where we're up to. But it looks like they basically can't miss, at least. But, I mean... It's really just the movement speed that we would be wearing this for, which... I've already got a lot of, and I'm always using Swiftness Potion. It's way too inconsistent as well, never mind the fact that the overall DPS... It's so weak, actually. The more I think about it, the more I look at it, this thing, as a source of damage, is kind of an insult for the boss that you have to fight to get it. It's like... It's on the level of Deer Clop's loot. <laughs> okay, I'll put those away then. I doubt I'll ever use this. I would have to be extremely keen on movement speed, and there's probably better accessories for movement speed. That's not just left and right. Where are you going? Drive by Wraith? Uh, let's sell this and clean out our inventory. This crap. Whoa, don't sell the Terra Prisma. Good thing we've got favorited items. He has an appointment with his Raytheatrician, <laughs> apparently. Bowshuck, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Don't need an extra money trough. Uh, Elbonian... Oh, that's a banner. Okay. Put the sword explosion away. Oh, and we want to see what the feathers do. Blunder booster. Um, one moment, please. Wait, where is... Oh, no. 
These belong in the piggy bank. Actually. Okay. Without further ado. Can be worn in vanity slots. Equipable. 12% increased rogue damage. I got excited for a second there. I thought it said range. 15% increased rogue projectile speed. Faster stealth generation. Summons a red lightning aura to surround a player. And electrify nearby enemies. You can consume your maximum stealth to perform a swift upward diagonal dash. Which leaves a trail of lightning bolts. Silver wings. We need tenebris? I, I still don't know where to get that. It's probably deeper into the abyss. Uh, Dark Sun Fragment. Don't know how to get that either. These wings had better be amazing. Horizontal speed is actually huge. Like, three more than the Celestial Starbird. Um, or Fish Run Wings, for that matter. Acceleration Multiplier 2.8, that's the same. Excellent vertical speed, flight time 270, that's a lot. Not that it should matter at this point. Uh, the Silver Revive heals you to half health while wearing the Silver Armor. Does Silver Armor make you immortal-ish? Even so, I don't think I would like to sacrifice the ability to fly up super fast, especially not after that last boss fight. Silver armor um, requires a bunch of stuff we don't know how to get. Lots of life, damage, and crit strike chance. You can. There's different heads for different. Uh, classes. Increased magic damage, crit strike, mana, reduced mana usage, minion damage, movement speed, damage, and crit. That's leggings. Is it just these two classes? Mage and summoner. So what does the set bonus do, I wonder? I wish it would tell you before you built the set without going to the wiki. Um, what, what else do we have? Furniture. Is the crystal just a block, or is it... Well, we need more stuff to find out, regardless. Jungle Dragon Egg. An imitation of the egg that bore the loyal guardian of the Tyrant King. Summons Jungle Dragon. Uh-oh. Yaren. That's different from Yarim. Enrages outside the firewalls. Uh, this requires a whole lot of stuff. Shade Crystal Barrage. Holy Water, Abyssal Tome, Souls, Cosmolite Bars. 92 magic damage, insanely fast. Small homing light beads along with explosive light bulbs. That sounds very good. It does? Okay. Uh, Mad Alchemist's Cocktail Glove. 262 magic damage, 11 mana. A variety of high velocity... <laughs> high velocity flasks. Okay, and we have a ranged weapon. 264, slow, extremely weak knockback, an escalating stream of fireballs. That sounds fun. Fireballs rain meteors, leave dragon dust trails, and, and launch additional bolts at max speed. 
Taking damage while firing the stream will interrupt it and reduce your wing flight time. Right click to fire two devastating barrages. Just don't get hit? Yeah, I don't think I'll be using that. Um, so I'm not really seeing anything... anything at all that I want to make with Effulgent Feathers. Uh, uh, yeah, Effulgent Feather. So I guess we're not farming that boss, thank goodness. Although I have to admit, um, it really was a lot more fun and kind of fair and challenging compared to some of the other bosses. But at my current uh, DPS, it's a little bit of a marathon, just a bit. Okay, um... Put away the cosmic rainbow. The other boss we need to fight is Profaned Guardians. I have a feeling these are going to be really nasty. Use it in the Hallowed or Underworld biomes. Enrage when not in the Hallow or Underworld. Why both of those biomes? If we're expected to fight them in the Underworld, then... They're probably not that bad for having to use up lots of space, right? Unless they just expect you to clear the underworld. Um. No. Astral probe, get out of here. Alright, I guess let's uh, go get ourselves killed. Where is it? Oh, hello. I think I will need the minimap for these. I'm liable to run out of space if I'm not careful. Oh, there goes our dodge all right. Okay, okay. I think we should probably leave. I think. Oh no. Okay, they're gonna. They're gonna enrage, aren't they? Um, hoverboard. I forgot I had. I forgot I have the hover. But wow, they actually lead the target. I think. Why is this the first boss that I've seen, or the first enemy in the game that I've seen that apparently leads the target? Oh, that was the Devourer of Gods, actually. Um, yeah, I've never seen anything in this game lead the target. Normally just going fast in a direction. For the most part, will get you to dodge everything. Maybe they're just spraying. I wish some enemies would lead the target. It'd be a lot more interesting. Not enough villagers... I was there for like a second. Okay. Um, I actually need another Terra Prisma for the deeps. Oh, now I have to fly over there. Whoops. Okay, so 
we run are you really supposed to fight those in the underworld is this a joke you know what you can you can go um where did my swords go Where are they? Yeah, so... You know what? I'm very seriously considering... Installing that mod that lets you see further. I, I think it's kind of required... For Calamity, to be honest. Um, because... By the time those projectiles are on screen, it's already almost too late to dodge them. Never mind the fact that by dodging one, you might run into another. Does anyone know the name of the mod? Uh, zoom out further. Better zoom? Okay, better zoom. Zoom out much further than what's possible in vanilla slash H3, what? Very useful. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay. Um, do we have to bind another key or something? Clicking on the zoom or UI scale text next to the sliders will reset the value to 100%. I kind of want a key to set it to 100%. Changing zoom slider or pressing the plus or minus keys on your keyboard. It'll zoom your game in and out just like normal, but instead... From 100% to 200... 30 to a thousand, jeez. Won't that let me zoom out further than enemies spawn? I mean, we'll be doing that anyway. They actually do spawn just off screen. Well, I hope there's a button include uh, included to reset the zoom to 100% just because I'm like used to that. I've never felt I've needed to, and I've played through Calamity many times. Well, that's not how I feel about it. I'm getting, like, half a second of being able to see a projectile that's aimed at me from more than a screen away. Um, that's not what I call good difficulty. Alright, so we might have to go into controls, key bindings. Uh, where are we going? Down the bottom. I don't see any new key bindings for better zoom. So it's probably just... probably just increases the m and decreases the uh, minimum and maximum. Oh, yuck. Oh. Oh, I don't like this. I didn't think it would be like that. I mean, I knew to some extent we would probably see some weird artifacting or something if I zoom out enough. But I didn't think it would be quite like this. Don't really see the need to zoom in that much either. Not that that's a problem. Right, what's the boss you're fighting right now? Uh, it was... What was it called again? Profaned Guardians. Yeah, I don't like this. I'm gonna... I'm gonna get rid of it.
I realize that's probably the best you could do with a mod, but still. Shlurpus, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, I guess this is as good as it gets. Nice, when uh, then we are approaching the fun zone. The next boss made me quit my first playthrough. Honestly, if I wasn't streaming, uh, I would have quit Calamity the moment that I saw that they basically deleted Soaring Insignia. I was very impressed with it early on, uh, with quality of life improvements and stuff. But there's a lot that they've done that I find, frankly, obnoxious. Um, alright, so we want ammo and summon. And it seems like the further I get into the playthrough, the more that they're doing these things. Feels like a practical joke or something. So... Yeah, look at that. I didn't have an opportunity to see that coming until it was almost too late. Where I should have been able to avoid it easily from the start. If I could see the projectile on screen. Oh, this just sort of hangs around up here so I can run into it later. That's cool. If I use the hoverboard... It's a bit easier, but we do have to swap directions from time to time. Oh god, I'm not liking this at all. Yeah, this is extremely uncomfortable to say the least. Oh yeah, I forgot, we don't get to go home with this boss. Uh, how about this though? Oh, rip the NPCs. Wow. This boss is really pushing it for Chlorophyte. I mean... I'm going to miss most of my shots. If I'm not using Chlorophyte. So Chlorophyte is going to be... Higher DPS on average. I've got my hands full just trying not to die. Oh, and they enrage out of the hallow, so... Let's go back to the hallow then. I should probably set up some teleporters, but... Could that be called using an arena? I should be able to get back there before they do. Pro probably. Oh. It's not going to be close, is it? I guess I could use uh, potions of return. Where are they? I should... If I, if I look at the map, we're going to lose time, so... Yeah, we can make it back to the Hallow. Alright. So, kinda like Deerclops, uh... We could take a very, very long time 
uh, to try to kill these guys. And eventually get there, theoretically, it seems like. But... We could get swatted in, like, three seconds at any moment. Yep. Uh, that's with Celestial Starboard, Soaring Insignia, lots of movement speed, Swiftness Potions, Dashes. Uh, they're just right in my face. I was Mage, my DPS was fine, it's all the other crap. I mean... This is about as much DPS as we can have at this stage. But I'm more concerned about the fact that I simply can't get away from them. Obviously, Rod of Discord would be good if it wasn't nerfed into the ground. Um, I don't suppose we can upgrade it. Cinder Plate, Exodium Cluster, and Stardust Fragment, so that's a no. I'm not really seeing a way to do it except just get very lucky for a very long time, dodging all the projectiles and not being painted into a corner. I honestly don't know what to do. There's nothing I can get defensively that helps. This is about the most attack I can have. I don't think we've got good, like, direct damage or homing missiles compared to where we are with Ranger, with Mage. I can give you a weapon recommendation? Uh, sure, if it's available right now. Planetary Annihilation? <laughs> Grief. Uh, where am I looking? Planetary... Annihilation. We've already got the Daedalus Stormbow. I don't know where to get Galactica Singularities. Cosmic Bolter is... I don't know if we have that or not. Lunarian Bow. We've got Living Shards somewhere. Lunarian Bow is Demon Bow, Bees Knees, Molten Fury. I might have made one of those. I used a spear. Personally, I would recommend the Elemental Blaster. I found it to be very good. Also has homing projectiles. Is that a mage spell? Alright, let's take a little break from the Plantera music. Um, let me see if I have this bow lying around somewhere. Lunarian Bow, okay. So we need that. Living Shard, Hallowed Bar, Soul of Sight. I'm pretty sure I haven't crafted this yet. Living Shard, Soul of Sight. Oh, I've only got four. Easily remedied.
Oh, it's already dead. The first, uh, spaz is. Okay. Soul of Sight. Give me, give me. Fantastic. And what else did we need? Hallowed bars. Uh, that's in the hard mode vanilla. All right, I need I need to get rid of some of this stuff. Hallowed bar. And probably Mithril Anvil. Cosmic Bolter. Converts wooden arrows into sliding energy bolts. I feel like I've tried this. Oh, that's... That's not a arrow pouch. Here we go. Where did I put it? Slot 7. Yeah, I feel like I have seen this, actually. Maybe I just crafted a second one. Okay. Uh, Planetary Annihilation. Where am I supposed to get Galactica Singularity? Let's see if this tells us. Uh, it is crafted. From... Oh, these. Yeah, we have... Galactica Singularities. Okay. So I just need five. Why is the Terra Prisma hitting things through the wall this time? That's weird. Uh, Galactica Singularity. And we need Luminite as well, right? I think it was five. Ancient Manipulator, question mark? Where do we upgrade this? Ancient Manipulator, Cosmic Bolter? Probably needs to not be in my... Hot... Uh, hot we need the Daedalus Stormbow, I almost forgot. I just sort of took it for granted. Uh, here it is. Can I craft if this is in the hotbar, even if it's not favorited? Probably... oh, we can. It's only 113 damage. Fires a swarm of... a storm of seven arrows from the sky. Wooden arrows are converted into homing energy bolts. Okay. That might be good, I will admit. Um... they don't seem to... Okay, the homing is very weak. Isn't most of this going to miss? Well, we can try it. But if we use better arrows, they're not gonna... They're not gonna be homing energy bolts. But most of the homing energy bolts are gonna miss anyway. Oh, wait, 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 wait. They turn around and chase things? How persistent are they? Let's get rid of the Terra Prisma. They are very persistent. Okay. Um, that might be pretty good, actually. Can we find... What are these creatures that are not critters that weapons don't seek? It's very weird. What? And what's this? Nothing. Okay. The homing gets stronger if they don't collide with walls. Indeed it does. 
Alright, let's put this stuff away. Uh, roll this to Unreal. So we actually need to use uh, wooden arrows, right? Yeah, it's very poor against grounded targets. But that's not what we're going to use it on. So now all of my ranged attacks are homing, except for Celebration. Uh, let's put this away. And... Now I have too many types of ammo again. Is that everything? Not even close. I should just have a bin to quick stack with some of these items. Uh, give me some iron. And is it heavy workbench? Or it, is it just anvil? Here it is. Trash can. Okay. We're gonna put things that I don't care to deal with uh, in the trash can for quick stacking. And we'll just bin them all together later on. It's not worth the time anymore to sell everything. Definitely the rotten dog tooth. All right, we need to roll this thing to Unreal. And... Uh, I could probably benefit from swapping out the Destroyer Emblem for a Magic Quiver. Uh, I take that back. I forgot how nerfed they are. Not sure exactly why you need to nerf something that only gives you a little damage buff for one specific type, subtype of a class. It's really not that much. Oh, and does this work? Increased range damage. Yeah, it does. With arrows. We just can't see far with it. Okay. Let's put the Nebula Blaze away. I don't think I've even used Nebula... Uh, Nebula Blaze in a long time. And... Let's go get ourselves killed. Wait till my health reaches maximum. That is a very large bow. Yeah, so I'm moving at maximum speed with the hover, and they're still just coming directly at me. Like it's nothing. You can upgrade the ranger emblem too. Uh, Deadshot Rooch. Oh, we can easily do this. 10% increased range damage, that's a decrease. 5% increased range crit. I guess on average, but unreliably, that's the same. 
20 produced 20% reduced ammo usage greatly increases all ranged projectile velocity. Uh, that's not bad. How much time do we have? About 17 seconds. Uh, and then that goes even further. All right. I could even try and get this done while this boss fight is happening. Why don't... Oh, I have no dash because this. Okay. Uh, Core of Calamity, was it? Core of Calamity. I think I have some in here. Or I just make them out of... Oh. Uh, I don't have many Cores of Chaos. Where do I make Core of Calamity? Mithril Anvil. We need Ashes of Calamity as well. Ashes of Calamity. And I need how many? Just three. And I'll get one of the spare ranger emblems. Oops. I don't have time to fix that right now. Rip the merchant. So once we upgrade this, uh, I guess there's two upgrade parts. We either get strike a bullseye, always critically strike and deal mass. What does it mean to strike a bullseye? All nearby enemies and bosses are marked with bullseyes. When a bullseye is struck, it vanishes and a new one appears elsewhere. So on a boss, it's basically just a constant damage buff. Explosions or large projectiles cannot strike bullseyes. Converts all ranged critical strike chance. Boosts into extra crit strike damage. Interesting. All ranged weapons deal even more crit strike. Okay, let's get one of these made. Um, do I have everything I need? Yes, yes I do. Um, let's go over here so we have more time to read. <laughs> All ranged weapons will deal even more crit strike damage the, the slower they are. Didn't it also speed up projectiles, or that was this one? Summons a heroic spirit from another world if accessory visibility is enabled. What? The heroic spirit is also summoned when the accessory is placed in vanity slots. Is there like a downside to having this heroic spirit or is it just a vanity thing? How do we make it? Luminite, mysterious circuitry, dubious plating... We can get those. I don't know how to mass produce these, but we've already we should already have them. And the other path is quiver, luminite bars, galactica singularity. I don't know where to get ascendant spirit essence, um, but it gives us fifteen percent increased range damage, five crit, twenty percent reduced ammo usage, twenty percent chance to not consume arrows. Greatly increases all range projectile velocity. Okay. So I think we'll make... Well, no, I want a spare before I make this. So I think we'll just keep this as it is for the moment. 10% increased damage, 5% crit is actually a downgrade. We get 20% reduced ammo usage, but that doesn't do anything right now. It's actually... this is actually worse, except for the projectile velocity. 
So I'll just put that away for now. Uh oh. Oh, I thought I had more time. Okay. Um, can we pull it away from the hallow? Rip die trader. I think you were struggling a little because you played blind and that's super great. Love it. I mean, yeah, I would have to spend a lot of time browsing the recipes to get a bit more of an edge. Alright. We can't fight it here because it enrages outside of the hallow. Oh! I thought something was close for a second there for some reason. Maybe I should use the Clentaminator and expand the Hallow a bit. And we should comfortably have time to get to the Hallow. After this. 5% crit chance is basically 5% more damage on average if you are not capped on crit already, so it should uh, outperform the Ranger Emblem. I mean, it would be equivalent to the Ranger Emblem, and the Ranger Emblem is more reliable. Oh. Remember this piece of wood? I should not be stopping here. What am I doing? <laughs> That was when we were using the snake charmer's flute to get up to our sky fishing area. For whatever reason, I had 12% in mind for the ranger emblem. Fair enough. Yeah, it's actually on paper exactly the same DPS. Unless you're fighting the dungeon guardian or something. Oh. Uh, okay. That was a little sooner than expected. I'm not entirely ready, but this is... This will have to do, I guess. I can't find a spot to get past this. Like, I'm just trying to create enough distance to just get one little moment to get past it, and it's not enough. And why does it say it's on 100% health? It's probably like... If it's regenerating, then I have absolutely no chance. Like, zero. Yeah, I honestly... <laughs> I would be abusing teleporters if I wasn't trying to do the arena list challenge because this is ridiculous. I probably did that a bit too early. So we have to hurry. Does it regen? I'll keep an eye on it next time. I've seen bosses that appear to have full health when they don't really, but I haven't seen any sign that we've done any damage so far. One doesn't regen, two do, as long as the other one is alive. Interesting. It's not like I have the luxury of trying to pick a target the guide was slain, so we know where they are. Thank you, guide, for your noble sacrifice to give us a little bit of information. Okay, I think I'm actually ready this time. At least... What was that? Wait, did the boss leave? What? 
Okay, why did it leave? Because it's 7.30? Or was it something else? One of them did say healer. Floor fight's unfortunate, you can hardly target the healer. I can hardly target them anyway, I can't even get like one second where they're on screen and I'm not just desperately looking for a gap to squeeze through. And very, very rapidly running out of space to try to buy time to find a gap that I can squeeze through. It's bullet hell, but without the maneuverability of a bullet hell game. Alright, so do, do these guys not come at night? Uh, during daytime. So if I want them... If I want them to leave, I just have to change time to day. Uh, to night time, rather. Oh, we could do a... I need to cancel the no-kill critter thing. There we go. We could do Empress of Light, maybe. Now that we've got more deeps. But she's super dangerous. Maybe I shouldn't have done this. The hoverboard definitely helps. Where is she? She doesn't enrage outside of the hallow, right? I don't think. This is actually going really, really, really well. She literally just teleported past my shots there. Um, wow. I could... Probably kill her during the day, at least one time out of five. But they gave us the Terra Prisma for killing her at night for some reason in Calamity, so I don't I doubt there's any point to it. I really don't like these things. They're a nuisance, and they don't look like they belong. Oh, come off it. I'm just trying to... Let me look at my gear. Calamity adds it to the loot bag, yeah. I mean, I kind of understand... Ooh, Starlight. Let me guess, this is crap on the scale of Calamity's items at this point. Eventide is like, kind of whatever. Nope, Eventide, Eventide is just bad at this point. But I wonder if you wanted to do true melee, how long the Starlight would be good. I mean, in my experience, it's, it's absolutely insane. Oh, th thank you so much, Terra Prisma. That's what I wanted. Um, what else do we have here? Have we have we picked up all of the loot from Empress of Light? And is there anything that could actually help us? We can get wings. Seven, two point five, one fifty. Hold up to boost faster. It's slightly worse than Moon Lord. Uh, the wings that we get from the Moon Lord. Maybe it's worth... I was going to say maybe it's worth considering farming for that against the Moon Lord, but no, it's really just the Insignia. Um, oh, we got the Axe! Or the Stellar Tune that combines with the Axe into the face melter.
By his music notes, right click summons an amplifier that shoots towards your mouse. We have to make this. Uh, but I need nightmare fuel and cosmolite bars. Don't know where to get those. Uh, the axe is dropped by Plantera. And we've actually farmed Plantera a bit and still haven't got it. Plantera. It's like almost the only thing that Plantera hasn't dropped. Um, Alright, I'm going to take a little break and after that we'll farm the axe out of Plantera. For now we'll put some words on stream. I know we can't make that uh, that weapon just yet, but I want to have the stuff together to get it as soon as we get those other ingredients. I could also use a break from trying to kill impossibly overpowered bosses. It's no longer the strongest thing in the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like... It's good for where I'm up to, but for Calamity Summons, it's like just on par for the power curve of the best items. All right. Um, is this thing set up? Not yet. I didn't do this part. Okay, we'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few short minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Oh no. Uh, I still need about a minute, so let's do one more. That's weird. There's no fake letters at this level. F A R M E R. It's is it busted? You shouldn't be able to see it if it wasn't like ready to work. Yeah, something's wrong. Okay, let's just get back to the game then, I guess. Uh, I'll just close that down. Now, where were we? Rip NPCs, that's where we were. Let me just sell this skimic, uh, skimitar back to you. Uh, Tabnit. Um, so I think instead of the Menacing Destroyer emblem, Dawn Light Spirit Origin might be good to try. Mysterious Circuitry. Mystery... Ugh. Okay, so we can't craft it? Mysterious Circuitry. Uh, comes from Armored Digger. Demonic Bone Ash, Dubious Plating, Mysterious Circuitry. Okay, so do we have to hang around in the Underworld? Is that really the only place we can get this stuff? I think I left a bunch of it up here. Also, I want to see what these are. Let's change time today, just so we can see a bit better. I think it's in the piggy bank. Cosmolite. Okay, up we go. A little faster than expected. have the rod of discord can i take this with me i can charges drayden's arsenal items using power cells power cell factory produces drayden power cells over time one cell is produced every 15 seconds i don't see any cells though do i have to move them for it to work Or do I have to give them, like, circuit signals or something? I'll just take these chests while we're at it. Um, maybe I took it already. I think there was some... Some of the circuit things we're looking for up here. What is this? Somehow I thought I would find something a bit more special here, or maybe some something different would spawn. But no, oh wow, it's Luminite. Okay. I guess let's mine this whole thing. What's the worst that could happen? Exodium Cluster. That's probably the ingredient to one of the... Uh, 
one of the intermediate products that I've been looking at and not knowing where to get. Let's get the treasure magnet. I was excited for a second there, I thought we'd found something... something new spawning. Is it the hoverboard that gives you basically infinite flight? Uh, it's the soaring insignia, but unnerfed. I call it the hoverboard, it's actually the celestial starboard, but the hoverboard is the first uh, flying... The, the first set of wings, the first flight item that lets you do this. Um, but by holding down while you hold jump, uh, if you go left and right, it's actually as fast as dashing, and you just maintain your altitude. Um, which is obviously very, very strong uh, as far as movement goes. But I've been using that against... Uh, what was it called? Uh, where's this boss? I, I was using that against the Profaned Guardians, and it was still not even close to enough. Just to create enough distance to be able to find a gap to dodge their projectiles. So I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do without building arenas, which... Honestly, it's not just because it's a interesting challenge. I, I don't like building arenas. I think they're really goofy. This is actually so much stuff. Let's get a mining potion. And food. There we go. Still taking a little while to mine this thing. I might have two more hints for your accessories for whenever you're sick of guardians. Fair enough. Do you have an accessory that gives me dodge every five seconds? Maybe I need to exploit... Uh the vertical movement speed more that I've got available. I can go 102 down, 104 up, I think. Let's... Oh yeah, we've got the cell phone, we've got all the information. Uh, 64 and a half miles per hour left or right with the hoverboard style movement. 102 down. And I think it's 102... I was going to say 104, it's 108 up. So, if I... The trouble is, I can't combine... I guess I could use dashes. No, I... Okay, so I can't combine dash or hoverboard with falling down fast. Um, and I can't really combine dash with flying up fast. It's... I kind of can. So maybe if I... But that would require the whole world. Okay, so anyway, I grabbed a Clentaminator and turned the entire world into Hallow. Maybe it's... Maybe when I'm flying high enough it's not counting as Hallow and they are catching up with me because they're enraged. Maybe I should just let them be enraged. But like, yeah, maybe if I use diagonals to try and keep away from them. And I need to be careful not to get to space.
excuse me. I missed the mute button. Uh, let's... What is that? Why is there a life crystal up here? Was that always there, or... Or did it spawn later? Still recommend the swarmer? The swarmer? Oh, you mean the bee thing? Oh, this is platinum walls, I believe. Yeah, platinum bricks. I'll just leave them. It's not like I'm going to use them for decorating, probably. And even if I was, I could make them. Where's that emerald I just picked up? Get out of here. Oh, it doesn't look the same now. Uh, oh yeah, I haven't been to this place yet. I remember I saw that off stream and neglected to go there. Let's go check it out. Up we go. I see spooky chest. I see demonite. Ebon sand. It's not what I was expecting. I think I think our wyvern friend died off screen. I can't actually pick up the souls. Oh well. What's in here though? Do we need a corruption key? Wait a sec. Don't tell me. I think I I think I deleted the corruption key because I'm like, well, we're not going to use that on this on this save. That's unfortunate. Um or did we put the keys somewhere else? I don't think I stored the keys somewhere else. Well, we're just going to have to find another corruption key. So is this just here so that we can get the biome chest item from either biome? So I wanted to tell you, I've got no dash for you, but good defense items. No dash. I don't know about that one. Dash instead of dodge. Oh, no dodge, I see. Um, I guess there's nothing else here, basically. I thought it would maybe spawn different enemies or something. But, uh, nope, it's just harpies. I'm surprised we're not getting uh, corruption enemies spawning up here. I guess, in space, regular land enemies don't spawn? Oh! Okay, this is different. Let's try it. Maybe we are remotely strong enough. Oh, that was just a different enemy. I thought this was one of those... Kind of like the Leviathan. Did that just change to a jungle chest? No. No, we just have more light. Okay. Dope. What is this? Cloud elemental. And it drops... Storm Saber. This is pretty outdated. By his two homing sword beams. That's not bad, though. 
I mean, if we'd gotten it sooner, it would have been very nice. That's the Planetary Annihilation. What spell was that? Uh, yeah, the uh, bow is called Planetary Annihilation. Teague, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, um, let's check out that other new stuff in the sky and try not to forget to check out the circuitry stuff. Um, I guess I'll put these chests over here and we need our power cell factories. So, does this need... Why wasn't it working before? Oh! Drayden Power Cell. Do I just have to keep collecting it now? Does it stack if I don't keep picking it up? I need a, I need more room for these. Let's make another room for them. Down here. Oh, that reach. Wow, that's convenient. It stacks to 100, so I don't have to pick it up every time or anything. get ourselves well for, first let me stack away what I can angry soaring insignia uh, exodium cluster oh that turns into a lot of stuff or was I looking at the wrong thing? No? There's like too much stuff. Oh, now we just need Cinder Plate to upgrade our Rod of Calamity. How do we get Cinder Plate? Hellforge, Obsidian, and Essence of Sunlight. That's super easy. Obsidian... Wait, Hellforge as opposed to Adamantite Forge? So I could have had these ages ago. Cinderplate. What do they make? Oh, nothing. They make some cosmetic things and... This thing. Okay, so 10 Exodium, 5 Cinderplate, Rod of Discord, and we need 30 Stardust Fragments. And I think I just stacked away... no, I didn't. Stardust Fragments? Normality Relocator. I'll be there in the blink of an eye. Press something to teleport. To the position of the mouse, fall speed is doubled for 30 frames after teleporting. Teleportation is disabled while chaos state is active. Works well in the inventory. So that means um, I'm going to bind the button that I had for this slot to this thing. Uh, but that means we have another slot for a weapon as well, theoretically. Uh, what? So... Normality Relocator. Is that what it's going to be called down here? Calamity Mod, Normality Relocator. Fantastic. Now what am I going to use for that weapon slot? FVC6. I haven't actually... Oh, I didn't even mean to do that. 
I haven't even used the honey bucket in forever, actually. Because we've got the shiny stone, if I want to regen, and I've got a second, and I don't want to use a potion. What's the cooldown on this thing like? 19 seconds? That's worse than the Rod of Discord. The only benefit is we can probably do it while we're moving. Uh, while we're firing. I thought this upgrade path would give us a more frequent teleport. This makes me very sad. I'm surprised the party girl hasn't shown up, or maybe she has. Aziz Light! Aziz Light? Repetitive beats. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Rod of... Discord. Teleportation is disabled while Chaos State is active. Could you be persuaded to stop? How did you get in here? Alright, let's compare. It was like 19 or 20 seconds with this thing. Whoops. Uh, I, I, I need to rebind this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, probably 6, F, C, I don't think I actually have a sh oh, I have the mouse thing for this one. Uh, B is buffs, X, am I using X for anything? X is pretty awkward, but I think X is for dropping stuff, which I never ever use. I mean, I use it with the mouse, so... I guess X could be a weapon. I don't really have another key that I could use that's in easy reach. Um, so where is it? Hotbar 8X. And can we just delete this? There we go. Alright. So X is going to be some kind of weapon. Uh, where did the Rod of Discord go? Rod of Discord. It's like 14 or 15 seconds cooldown. But we have to stop what we're doing. If, if Terraria's weapon switching while you're attacking wasn't so bad... Uh, I would say the Rod of Discord is just better, but the... Let me just test it. The... I, I presume we can do this while we're moving and shooting without any interruption. Yeah, that, that helps a lot. It's a side grade, because another five seconds of cooldown is really nasty, but just the fact that we can do it with no warning really, really helps. It has a super long two cooldown, but preserves momentum, so you should be able to keep firing. Yeah. And the thing is, with, uh, with Terraria's weapon switching, you get stuck on a weapon as you're trying to switch, if you keep firing it. Like, you have to wait till the exact frame that the game stops having the weapon stick out, like, not in your hand. And then you have to be not... you have to be not at, uh, pressing attack. Wait till your hands are empty, and then uh, switch weapon. Notice that with the pickaxe trying to switch? Yeah, I don't know why it does this. Like, every other game ever, you, 
it has given you the muscle memory to just, you know, let's think through it. We're holding attack, we press another weapon key, and it'll either switch to it for the next attack, even if we keep holding attack, or like, maybe you have to let go of attack for one frame, and it'll switch to the next weapon at the next opportunity. Um, but not Terraria. Terraria wants to be different. Let's get our stone slabs. And why am I so slow? Oh, because I'm not wearing the treads. Um, so yeah. Rod of Discord, but probably gonna just put that away. As much as it makes me cry that the cooldown has gotten even longer. I don't know what other weapon... I'm sure there's something that I want to squeeze in here. But... Sure. Let's get some... Stone slab walls. Oh, that's not what I meant. I forgot I had a multi hook though. Oh, I should use the hoverboard. Nice. So now that we've done this much, we can fill it in anywhere. Not gonna lie, I kinda wanna see what the cinder plate walls look like. Do they glow? They do not. That's disappointing. I wish we had more options in vanilla for glowing walls. I want to make a elevator with uh, walls that emit light. And I've gone through everything I could think of. Um, and it just doesn't... I mean, the best you can do is Shroomite. Which, of course, is a little bit expensive. Alright, let's grab our... Back dreams. We should have four of them. Where did the rest go? Also, what is giving off light from me? Is this the shine potion? No. What's my light source? Is it the armor set? Oh, it is. Okay. That's not bad for a constant light source. Uh, I just void bagged my stone slabs, didn't I? I should have taken a moment to get a builder potion, but we're pretty much done now. It's Aziz, indeed. <laughs> the, the armor set is Aziz. Let's go with... Oh, did I bring the charging station? Security chest... Oh, I want some stone... Uh, some grey brick platforms. Here we go. Stone platform.
that's not right. That looks better. Alright, give me those chests. Where are they? And why don't we... Where are my Night Owl potions? Did I actually run out? I think I ran out of Night Owls. Who sells them? Here they are. It probably got cut when I was trying to not hit 20 buffs at once. That's a bit better. Let's get our diamond torches. I probably already got some lying around somewhere, but we'll just quick stack them. There we go. Nice and easy. Nope, that was actually all the diamond. Okay, no, we do have some diamond torches. Uh, what happened to those chests? They're up here. Nope, that's another factory. I kind of want to make this symmetrical. Actually, this is fine. That's a good fit. I think the most hats off thing about that playthrough isn't the arena list thing, it's the magic storage list thing. <laughs> Indeed. JP, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. One item is in front of the box, one level up. Oh yeah, the thing that was up here. Uh, charging station. We need more than one of these. Maybe not. Drayden's Arsenal items using power cells. Probably will, actually. Can we move this over a little bit more? Yeah, we can do that. Exodium Cluster. I find... When there's a lot of recipes, I find browsing it with the guide a bit better. Dimensional Soul Artifact. Power. Boosts all damage... What does power mean? Boosts soul damage by 25%, but at what cost? Increases all damage taken by 15%. So we just become more of a glass cannon. Um, that's fine. Like, when we're doing that loadout, it's because we need to kill the boss super fast, and even if we go tanky, we're only going to survive a few hits anyway. Did you consider using the magic storage mod? Uh, only a bit. Eldritch Soul Artifact. Knowledge. Boosts melee speed by 10%, ranged velocity by 25%, rogue damage by 15%, max minions by 2 and reduces mana cost by 15%. Huh. I don't know what Whispering Death is, but having immunity to it sounds good. We need Navy Plate. I don't know where to get that. Navy Plate. It is made. Sea Prism and Obsidian. We could make this right now. It's 
Uh, I think if I was melee or rogue, I'd appreciate the multi-class of it. Well, we need an armor set that's multi-class as well. Two max minions reduces mana cost by 15%, so that's decent, like... That's kind of decent uh, mage plus summoner hybrid stuff. If it gave ranged damage, then I'd be all over it. And or mage damage, for that matter. Yeah, I'm actually not that excited by this. Loyalty. For each fairy draconid you have summoned, you gain one minion slot. That sounds... odd. Yaren. That's uh, a boss we haven't killed yet, I think. Phantomic Artifact. Whenever your enemies, uh, minions hit an enemy, you gain a, a random buff. Does not stack with downgrades. Oh, it's an upgrade from... From what exactly? Hallowed Rune. I missed that one. These buffs will either boost your defense, summon damage, or life regen. If you have the offensive boost... Okay. That sounds okay. Purity. Profaned Soul Artifact. Summons a healer guardian which heals you for a certain amount of health every few seconds. And what's this? Prismatic Greaves. 10% increased magic damage, 12% crit, 20% decreased non-magic damage. Because... Armor sets, in general, don't push you into one type of damage enough, actually. 10% increased flight time, 2% increased jump speed. Uh... Oh, it's, it stacks up to 60% decreased non-magic damage. Wow. Enemies with less than 500 max health deal no contact damage. Does anything have less than that much health now? This does not occur while a boss is alive. Lovely. Uh, magic attacks occasionally fire a pair of homing rockets. Interesting. 33 defense. Oh, that's a lot. Divine Geode, Armored Shell, well we're not making that for a while, Stratus Die, Ruinous Soul, Exodium Cluster, oh, it's just Die, what am I doing? Summons a Shadow Dragon, I'm guessing this is a pet, yeah we need a Dragon Egg, we already did Normality Relocator, Cosmic Anvil, we need this. Capable of withstanding the pressures of stellar collapse? Wow. Also functions as every previous tier of Anvil, I should think so. Cosmolite Bar, Luminite Bar, Galactica Singularity. So once we get Cosmolite Bars, we can upgrade our Anvil. I'm sure we won't have to remember that. That's a brick. 361 magic damage. Claymore Noctus. Let the sky fall. Fires night wyverns and stars from the sky that stick to enemy enemies and tiles and explode. Interesting. Crescent moon. Fires a whip sword that summons homing crescent moons. Good grief.
does not occur while boss, so not going to work when you need it most. Yeah, pretty much. It's not hard to have a set that's good for walking around. Uh, what's this? Gal Galileo Gladius. Small space swords. Shoots a homing crescent moon. Everything is homing now. Spawns planetoids on enemy hits. 2,632 range damage. It's very slow, though. Halley's Inferno. Fires a flaming comet. 50% chance to not consume gel. So it's a flamethrower? Rifle scope, luminal, ruinous soul. Okay, so some of that stuff we don't have. Star Marta. Insane knockback. Lots of damage. Slow. Fires a barrage of stars and plasma blasts. We need star... It's an upgrade from Starfleet. Which we've got. I don't know where to get Aquashard shotgun, but it looks weak. We need Cosmolite bars. Ultima. Very fast, 226 range damage, continuous stream of plasma bolts. Over time, the bolts are replaced with powerful lasers. Bolt pow bolts power up into solid beams as you continue shooting. 90% chance not to consume ammo. Um, yes please. So we need pulse bow, which I think we have, laser rifle, the storm. Uh, I don't remember, but it looks weak. Astral Bow. Again, we need Cosmolite Bars. Night's Gaze. It's an upgrade to Daybreak, I guess. Stealth Strikes cause the spear to summon homing stars as it fires. Oh, it, as it flies. It's rogue damage now. We got a big bad summon. Cosmic gunship. Um, yes please. I really need to figure out Cosmolite bars. I would laugh if they're already available. An upgrade to the Sun God staff? Hell yes. We just need Luminal and Ruinous Souls. The brightest star in the night sky to shine upon your foes consumes all of the remaining minion slots on use. Must be used from the hot bar. Well, that's cringe. I mean, I guess I can just do it from the hot bar and then put Sirius away. Increased power based on the number of minion slots used. I bet you would, <laughs> yeah. Uh, alright, so is there anything that we're doing with Exodium Clusters at the moment? I think we've already done what we can. Let's just put them over here. Why is there a Rage Potion in here? It's so weird. Okay, that is a lot of Luminite, so I guess they don't expect you to farm the, uh, the Moon Lord that much. Two hundred and ninety-five Luminite bars. We've done two of the sets. We need eight. 24, 36 per set. Uh, so 72 to make the other two sets. No, we've done three sets, so only one. It's only the solar set that remains. Let's do it. All 
Am I missing something? Oh, yes I am. Just how much more tanky does this make us? In our glass cannon gear, we've got 78 defense. That goes to 94 without changing accessories. Um, minor life regeneration, solar shields charge over time to protect you and let you dash. A charge is used to damage enemies you touch. Consume charges explode and damage enemies. Uh, it's, it's not very specific about how much damage reduction you get. I don't think it's like three charges of not taking damage, is it? I would be very surprised if that was the case. Also, it doesn't consume the dash, does it? The charge for a dash. Let's put this away. Oh, you, oh, the dice go here. Okay. Dash? No, I think the dash is just... If we lose all of our charges, do we lose our dash? Is what I'm wanting to know now. Oh, that's an easy way to test it. No, we need to take damage faster. The charges accumulate pretty quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't give you a dash unless you have at least one charge. Um, it looks like it doesn't give you any damage reduction from those charges. I need one enemy on screen to test this. Maybe I can lure one. The explosions are kind of funny though. What enemy has a lot of health, doesn't hit very hard, and I can have it attack me on its own? A weak boss? Let's see what Eye of Cthulhu has to say. Actually, Eye of Cthulhu is going to throw out little eyes, which are going to throw things off. Oh, that slime followed us, but it's going to die. Let's see. King Slime is going to summon more slimes. Uh, the mech bosses have too much... Fish run is a bit much, probably, still. Deerclops would actually make a ton of sense. Okay. And let's, let's check if there's better options. I don't th think so. Yeah, Deerclops is probably about as good as it gets for a somewhat weak at this point boss. Uh, ooh, give me that. That we can just let it hit us and see if it makes any difference. One damage? Really? Four? Okay, this, um... Poor Deerclops is not hitting us as hard as I thought he would. <laughs> Who would win? Deerclops or AFK Solar Flare? Yeah. With mostly Glass Cannon Ranger items and a Shiny Stone. Gashman, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thank you. 
Oh, I think I might have been muted for a bit. Uh, Skashman, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Just looking through the news, GTA 6 had a massive leak. Uh-oh. Where can I go to get hit by something that's just the right amount of toughness for testing this? Maybe the jungle? Oh, wait. What about that snow area? Just to the right over here. I should be able to lure just one enemy back. Hello? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> what was... What was his hurry? Okay. 32. No, go. Go away. I killed it. Oh no. Okay, this thing. We're gonna lure it back to town. It's hard to find the opposite of a target dummy, isn't it? Okay. One damage. 17 on contact. One damage. One damage. One damage. Also one damage. 39 on contact. Yeah, I guess the... Uh, uh, I guess the shields do give you damage reduction. Now let's kill this thing in the most interesting way possible. Oh, I could have died that way, actually. Alright, let's put this away. Why don't I play melee for a change? Oops. Let's put our ranged gear away for now. Maybe I'll keep some of it. Have you investigated the Asgard's Valor? Uh, no. Highly recommend it. Okay, I've got like too much stuff that I need to try out. Exodium, I haven't mined that, have I? I don't know if I can mine it or if this is going to be another bio or something. Uh, also, I was looking for more... what is it? Circuits? I thought I had some lying around, but also... I don't remember if we can make it. Right click only. It comes from Armored Digger. Oh, that's right. I was saying, do we actually just have to go to uh, to the underworld for that? Let's put this in here. That's the wrong spot. Oh, I can even teleport while I have something else in my hand. That's nice. The cooldown is horrendous, but the rest of it's nice. Um, Ebon Sand Block. Don't actually have Ebon Sand in here. Cinder Plate. We're out of room. Let's put it up here. Stone Platform. Graydon Power Cell. Uh, didn't I have a chest? I had a pair of chests that matched. Here we go, security chest. Alright, so we're going to put... Where did they go? Got to be kind of precise with the clicking there. Straighten power cells in here. Is it a material? Oh, it is. Let's see what it's good for.
quite a lot. We've got furniture, exoplating. We've got exoterminal. That's just furniture. Laboratory server. Is it all just furniture? It's just furniture. Aged lab console. Okay. Other than the weapon thing, we're not too fussed about this. Um, what about Miss? Did I look at mysterious circuitry? I think I did. Yeah. There isn't like another kind of circuitry I have to worry about. Uh, let's put this. Oh, I haven't actually summoned this yet. Yes, I have. I got confused. Um, sell these. And... I don't think we need another Terra Prisma. can always get another one anyway. Oh, I definitely want the Starlight. While it's probably still relevant. If we're playing melee. Let's make this un... Uh, I was going to say Unreal. Let's make it legendary. Godly. Okay. It's a material as well. We can craft something called Empress of Light? Oh no, wait, I was looking at Bestiary. Uh, here we go. Elemental Shiv. We can make that now. Shoots a rainbow shiv that spawns additional shivs on hit. Well, it's th I think I still do want a starlight because it's so easy to use. And super DPS. So I guess we'll kill Empress a couple more times. What's this? Oh, Night Glow. I don't think I found that earlier. Uh, Stellar Team Lamel. And Inventory Management Noises. Uh, spell things can all go together. What's this? Melee damage. Oh yeah, I remember this. Probably won't be using that, except as a material. Influx waiver is kind of nice. Probably. I don't know, I haven't played melee much yet, so... Holy... That's 194. It's probably not the same deeps. But the range and stuff, though. Right click to, uh, to what now? Where did it go? Oh, I forgot about this. Yeah, right click is basically razor blade typhoon spam. Kind of, it looks like. And I guess if we want longer range, there's this one. Probably this is fine, to be honest. Don't need another Empress of Light Relic. Uh, Absolute Zero. I'm experiencing a lot of analysis paralysis with this mod. Um, let's put the Nuclear Fury away. Power Cell goes in here. I guess I'll put the cinder plate in there. Lighted gel, get quick stacked. Uh, 
weather pane goes in here. And astral ore. Do we have that? Yeah, we do. And I don't really care about the radio thing. Okay. So we got... There's a whole bunch of different types of melee weapons that I haven't really tried. Are we getting close to making that flail that's made out of all of the other flails? Oh, what about, um... What about the one sword? You know the one. Pinnacle? Just kidding. Uh, copper, short sword... It actually makes two things now. Wait, nuclear fury plus copper short sword makes something? Tactician's trump card. Faint memories of a princess from the future cross your mind. Fires a sword beam that electrifies enemies on hit. Interesting. This also requires a lot of other stuff. Zenith. Uh, I don't think we have Meow Meow. We've got Influx Waver. We've got Star Wrath. Horseman's Blade, Seedler, I'm pretty sure, Star Fury, Beekeeper, Enchanted Sword, Copper Short Sword. We need Auric Bars. Which we make out of what exactly? Why, why is it... Left, double left click. Auric Bar. Here it is. Auric Ore and Yarn Soul. Where do we get these things? I I fear the answer. Jungle Dragon. Oh, we beat that just once, didn't we? Uh, Dragon Folly? No, this is different. Yaren is way down near the end. That's a shame. That's pretty disappointing, actually. One of the appealing things about Calamity would be you get to use endgame items from the vanilla game to do more than just have it as like a victory lap. But we're not going to be able to get uh, Zenith for a long time. Alright, let's just sell the copper. And what other melee weapons will we take? The microwave? Maybe? I don't think vampire knives are going to cut it. We can upgrade them. We need Cosmolite bars again. Cosmolite... Cosmilite? Cosmilite. It only comes from the Devourer of Gods. Oh no. I don't think we can get those anytime soon. Uh, think of something else. Where are our... Give me that white torch. How dare you. Where are our flails that we have lined up to combine into something? Oh, here they are. Dragon Pow. Auric Bar. 
Yaren Sol. Same problem, only not as bad. Dao Pao does a lot of damage, but this thing shoots stuff for us. I could try them both at once, pretty much. And I'm going to want to change my uh, accessories. Let's put them over here. Probably want the warding if I'm going to go melee. Maybe cross necklace or the upgrade of it. Star Veil is still a material. Deific amulet. Astral bar. Can we make astral bars? Astral ore and stardust. I'm pretty sure the answer is yes. Did we already do that? Hard mode calamity. Astral or Stardust. Wait, what? Do we need to be up here? We do. And how many of these do we need? At least ten. Uh, we've got hundreds of the ingredients, so let's go for a bit more. Also, what does this make? Homing Astral Rounds. Uh, I feel like that's probably out of date, but I wish I'd tried it. Hey, damsel. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I summoned the Torch God and it did not go well. Oh no. Zopentrope. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Could you provide a summary of Terraria thinking about getting it? Just don't know what it is or about. Um, it's sort of like... It's very unique. Terraria is... Open world Metroidvania with digging and building and stuff. Kind of. Uh, it's a lot more... Combat focused, shall we say, than Minecraft or something like that. It, the, the movement in combat is actually not bad. Zenith is changed to the absolute end game. Well, that's not really a change, is it? They changed it so that you thought it would be not end game, but then they took it away from you. If someone watched anime, Killer Kill, a Kamega Kill, Ark of the Elements is by far the coolest melee weapon. Uh, okay. Should we upgrade this? Is it strictly better? Cause the stars to fall and increases length of invincibility. Provides life regen and reduces the cooldown of healing potions. Very nice. Yeah, it's basically combining these two. And it's still a material. Let's grab ourselves a charm of myths. If I can remember where I put them. And we need some other stuff, don't we? Meteor, uh, meteorite bars and 15 sea prisms. Uh, so how did the torch go? Torch god go the second time? Meteorite bars. There we go. Where are we combining these? Uh, Tinkerer's Workshop? Nope, Ancient Manipulator. Am I missing something? Nope, here it is. Deific Amulet. Which eventually becomes... We need Divine Geodes, Cosmolite Bars, and Ascendant Spirits. 
to combine it with the frozen shield. We also need a cosmic anvil. Absorbs 25% of damage done to players on your team. Only active above 25% life. Grants immunity to knockback. Puts a shell around. So it just combines it with frozen shield. Uh, but yeah, this is good. Let's... Oh, I actually lost a charge by running into a target dummy there. Interesting. We're looking for warding. There we go. Also, I should probably... I don't know. It's probably already out of date, but I want to compare them. Let's try Daybreak. For our long range. Put the Influx Waver away. I remember using Possessed Hatchet, but it's already going to be weak. Alright, let's find some stuff to kill. And get a feel for the class. I can go look for the circuitry downstairs. See how that goes. Wait, wait, wait. I didn't get all my accessories yet. What do we got? Not that. Uh, we definitely want a Titan Glove or an upgrade of that. Is this just the same? We could make Berserker's Glove and or Mechanical Glove. This one gives defense, max life. Uh, auto swing, size of melee weapons. Enemies more likely to target you. It looks like Berserker's Gloves is just better than the Mechanical Glove. Except Mechanical Glove is still a material. This is slightly better and sets melee attacks on fire. Oh, and it's still a material. Okay, we're probably not able to make that yet. I would definitely like another power glove. And where do I get... Flesh Knuckles. I think that's a Crimson... Crimson Mimic thing, right? Well, we can check. Flesh Knuckle... Yeah, there it is. Crimson Mimic. I can make those... Rather than look for them. I can only make one right now. Well, we'll try it. of night and we need a chest let's finish putting on our accessories first except we're doing this because we're making our accessories I guess I'll just temporarily put these two on Alright. Should be more than enough. Come back here. There we go. And we got the flesh knuckles. Nice. Alright. Berserker's glove. Just a Dragon Pog. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, a Reforge to Warding.
and 10% increased tree melee damage. Okay. Definitely better than the warrior emblem, I think, though. Then we make the upgrade of the mechanical glove. We just need magma stone, basically. Scoria bar. Do we have magma stone? It can be a pain to find, but Calamity generally makes these things easier. Magma stone. It is dropped by Hellbat and Lava Bat. And I don't think we have any lying around. So we've got two reasons to go to the underworld now. Oh, we could maybe do some... Some porcupine stuff. Enemies take damage when they touch you. Can we make this yet? Depth cells. Luminal. We don't have luminal. Okay. 14 defense from the giant tortoise shell. Let's grab one of those. Warding giant tortoise shell. Perfect. And I'll put this over here. We have 148 defense. Uh, can probably go for eight more, actually. 156. Uh, enemies take damage when they touch us, doubly so with the armor. Stars fall and we become immune for longer and we regen and we have shorter potion cooldown. Higher max life. Uh, off, off for a lint. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Is this your first time playing Calamity? Yes, it is. How do you know if something is the best role it can be? Uh, apart from checking the wiki, uh, in Calamity, if you do, if you re-roll something six times, um, it just gives you the best version. That's true of weapons, but there's no, like, there's nothing considered to be the objectively best role for an accessory, so just go with what you want. Um, but yeah, uh, you can't get legendary on Daybreak, for example, because, uh, because you can't change the speed or size of it, I think. So without looking it up, if you re-roll it a bunch of times and notice that you never get size or speed or velocity, for example, you're not going to be able to get legendary or unreal. Will it not let you roll it seven times? Yeah, it will. Um, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Alright, let's take our melee... Thing for a spin. I don't know, there's probably better armor as well at this point, but let's just get a feel for it. And I am looking for bats, and also, what was it called? Uh, armored diggers. I don't think we've killed any of those. Well, definitely not enough for the bestiary. Oh, yes, we have. Armored Digger. Caverns. Uh, does that mean we're too far down? It does. Okay. Oh, what it... Oh, it's just you.
Yeah, that's not really working. Let's try... Let's do the Razor Blade Typhoon spam thing. It's very loud. I don't love this. If I'm gonna if I'm gonna use this weapon a whole lot, I might even turn the volume down. How about Dower of Power? Oh, not Dower of Power. Uh, Flower Power. It is looking a bit weak for this stage of the game. But I I do find the auto aim amusing. How about uh, what's number seven? X? No. F. How about the microwave? Yeah, I think I should just use the... Uh, starlight on those. As far as I can tell. Microwave's actually really slow at this point. What about Dao of Pal? It hits pretty hard, but it's really awkward. Like just a regular flail. So you want legendary or unreal? Usually, yes. Three best reforges on accessories and some melees like Daybreak only have godly. Legendary is for swords, unreal is for guns. This is true. Ronit Baron, or whatever it's called, is so good it carried me through Moonlord on Malice mode. Oh, this thing? Briny Baron. Its DPS wasn't that good, was it? Um, let's check. Or is the DPS better if I swing it? Probably. Oh, and it makes random... It makes random typhoons appear as well. Uh, if the DPS swinging it like that is comparable to... Starlight, then I guess Starlight is obsolete. We're looking at like 12, 1500. Would you come over here, please? Nope. Um. Oh, I don't want to waste my good potions while we're not doing boss fights. Let's put those away for now. Actually, I'll put them here. Nope, never mind. In the safe. Uh, who sells the best potions? Life potions. I don't recall. Why is there still no party girl? We didn't break... We didn't break the room, right? Yeah, those items you can make anytime you want from the uh, demon altar as well, so you don't have to keep them. Okay, is this housing suitable? This housing is suitable. Why have we not had the party girl come back for like 10 days? That's... Very weird. I don't suppose you sell healing potions? That would surprise me. Um, who does sell healing potions? Not very good ones. 
It's not the Dryad, is it? Whoops. Greater Healing Potion is what I'm looking for, though. Where did I find it? Or was it Super Healing Potion? Oh, yeah, 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 that makes sense. Hang on, can I quick stack these? I can. We've got a bunch of them. It's somewhere in here. Or not? Where on earth... I guess zooming doesn't help. Oh, here it is. 650 greater healing potions. Um, I'm happy to make some super healing potions. Restores 200 life. Ancient... Wait, wait, what? Requires bottle. Oh, okay. Mm, why is my inventory so full? Get out of here. Okay. One, two, three, four. And... Super healing potions go. That should be fine. And put these in here, I guess. Alright, so the microwave sucks at this stage. Let's put that away. I don't see myself using Dao of Tao. Um, Flower Pal's too weak to get excited about as well. Daybreak, maybe. Briny Baron. Maybe Starlight? I don't know. And I want some more... Oh, definitely the so uh, Storm Saber can go here. Let's fix it up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Legendary. Fantastic. It's not about the damage, it's just about hitting something easily. For that slot. Uh... Number five should be piercing. How about a chainsaw? No, just kidding. Throws a fish that spews homing spikes. Lol. I, I don't know what other melee weapons would be good, to be honest. Where did that torch go? I'm sure there was something, I just don't pay enough attention to melee. Oh yeah, this, this is good. Paladin's Hammer. Just go with the superior one. And I don't know. I really don't know. Oh, Oath Sword, sure. We can fly with that, right? No, that's the wrong sword. We can already fly, what am I talking about? But we can move very, very f oh, I have ideas. No, the damage is going to be way too weak at this stage. Just Dragon Punk, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. This is what I was thinking of. How fast do we go? Not that fast. Yeah, it's it's no longer super relevant. I'm sure the damage is nothing for this stage as well. Yeah, it's not nothing. But it's not going to be the way that we managed to kite that ridiculously fast boss. Uh, 
Um, I really don't know. Terrarian? Sure, whatever. Oh, it's a material. Because of course it is. Alright, we're going to the cavern layer. Uh, looking for... This is a spell. Looking for those worms. What boss are you on? Uh, Astrum, Aureus, Betsy, Ravager, Providence. That looks scary. But right now we're trying to get some materials. Let's put the astral bars in here. And we're also just trying to get a feel for the melee class that we've been playing. I don't need ammo reservation potions right now. The rest should be fine. We could do a knockback potion, but I think everything's either going to get knockbacked or not. Providence is a pain in malice or death mode. I'm sure it doesn't need those modes to be a pain. Uh, I probably want a Zerg potion, since I'm looking f Is this caverns? Yeah. Since I am looking for certain enemies. Oh, hello. Oh my god. The speed and area of this sword is crazy. Um, where's my... I had like a farming area. Yeah, here it is. Does it matter if we're in the hollow? I guess we'll dig through here since the cooldown is so very long for the teleport. I think it was over here where I have a water candle and stuff. I'm lost. Nine seconds before I can teleport up there. You should get the Ark of Elements. Oh no, I just teleported. My muscle memory tells me it's V and then left click. And then I waste my cooldown, potentially. What is this? Titanium. Very weird. Just leave a random piece of titanium. Does anyone know if... Uh, where is it? Does anyone know if Armored Diggers will appear in the Hallow or not? Oh, that's a peace candle. That's not what we're looking for at all. Okay, judging by the fact that we've got an Earth Elemental here, I think... Probably will be fine. What do you need an armored digger for? Circuitry. I should really have done a DPS test. Oh, here we go. Fifteen thousand? Good grief. Oh, there's some circuitry. Gimme, gimme. Yeah, this is kind of insane. Uh, 
fairy is trying to show us. That weapon is redonkulous? Yeah, it is. It even has homing missiles that go around the corner. Melee class, by the way. Melee class. Oh, we got uh, some perennial ore as well. That's good. I'll take that. I think I can just... Oh. I was gonna say I think I can just ignore these enemies, but then they stopped me from attacking. It even seeks more aggressively than Razorblade Typhoon. I love the scissors style from the anime. Scissors style. Um, we've only had one digger so far. How much circuitry did we get? Six. I think we need more than that. We also still need the flaming whatchamacallit from the bats in hell. What I might do is put this stuff away. Our inventory. We do have some circuitry somewhere. Here it is. 52. That's more than I thought. Um, let's move all of this to our designated area down here. What is this? Oh, I remember this. Summons bolters from the sky on hit. I thought we had one in storage, actually. Let me put the mana potions away, since we don't need those. And we'll go down to the underworld. And there's an area I want to visit. And hopefully we find some bats along the way. Oh, hello. Could you be persuaded to stop? I can't hit him in there. It's not doing a whole lot of damage. Yeah, these things are just not worth the time, though. They are an absolute nuisance. Wait, what was that? Is that green ore? No, I think it's just titanium or something. It's silver. Oh, I forgot we're after bats. there waiting for me. That's not what we're looking for. Can we just cast a spell that removes these enemies from the game somehow? 
They're not even really that much of a threat. They're just... They just won't leave me alone when I'm trying to do something else. I need every bat that we see. Because I'm looking for something that only they can drop. Alright, here's what I was looking for. And uh, our friends are here as well. That's nice. Uh, oh yeah, I... I can't wait, actually, to try to loot this area while these things are harassing me. That sounds like fun. Perennial Slime Banner. And I guess I'll put this up here. Do we not have a place for hot dog? Sell the greater mana potion. Anything in the void bag? Way too much, actually. I think Beam Sword is. I was gonna say part of Zenith. Oh, we can make something that might be relevant with this. Solstice Claymore. Five Luminite, five Galactica Singularity, twenty Astral Bar, Ancient Manipulator. Let's see. Galactica Singularity. Where did it go? It's in the void bag, isn't it? Uh, what are we making? Solst Solstice Claymore. Here it is. Oh, wow. So this thing is 251, plus the explosions. Uh, this thing is 350, and it's got the worst roll. Changes projectile color based on the time of year. Inflicts daybroken during the daytime and night wither during the night. So it does the same thing as Daybreak? Let's re-roll it. Put the Daybreak away. I wasn't using it anyway. Solar Eruption might be good. To reach things through walls. I'm definitely not using the Paladin's Hammer. That's too weak at this point. Where did my sword go? Oh, here it is. Derp. Godly. Legendary. Well. Oh, the, uh, the witch doctor's up here for some reason. That's weird. Which doctor? Get back in here. And in we go. There was this sword that can absorb biome power. Biome power. That's weird. Oh, I forgot these things are shooting us. Alright, so solar eruption's not bad for dealing with those, because they keep jumping into walls and stuff. Ow. I can't kill those repair units, nor would I want to. Um, I'll take some more of these. Apparently this is hallow. Ow. 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 What's that over there? Is that a chest? I don't think it is. That sure enough is Hellstone. Oh, I'm sorry. My bad. Could 
Could you be persuaded to stop? Thank you. Is this a chest? Or is it just background decoration? This looks cool and all, but what can we take from it? Not much else, I think. Oh, there's chests here. Can I... Here we go. That's what I want. Chuck it all in the void bag. Take the chest as well. Fantastic. And I think that's basically everything. Okay, I think we can confirm that these uh, repair units will keep respawning because uh, the Zerg potion is the reason we're seeing like 50 of them. Alright, that gives us more circuitry, but we're still looking for stuff from the bats. that other weapon? How's our DPS from this? It's really, really weak at this stage. Yep. This one's quite good. The only thing is we have to aim. can destroy turrets with the pickaxe? Okay. I think we'll leave them there just for the hell of it. Um, but yeah, I'm looking for bats, which would be spawning a lot faster if not for these stupid things. How good is... Oh, this is stronger than I thought it was. Wow. That's the Terrarian. Yeah, I should... I should use that. I haven't upgraded it yet. Did, did our Zerg potion run out? It did. Okay. Zerg potion go... Now I want to test this thing on a full health, one of those big annoying enemies. Where, where is this coming from? Four screens away? Are you serious? I wonder if this would be any good against a boss. Oh, wow. Yeah, no, a lot of it would miss unless it's chasing us all the time, which it probably would be. It depends on the spacing. The amount of damage this isn't doing is pretty comical, though. Maybe I'll go melee for the rest of the playthrough at this rate. Oh, wow. Yeah, they. I think they were full health when I tried this on before. I still have to be a tiny bit careful, but basically... We can just delete these things. Also, I have other weapons. You probably remember that. This is about as powerful if it always hits. 
So better for those smaller flying enemies. What is this boss? Uh, this thing? This isn't even a boss, it's just a... It's just an annoying enemy that shows up all the time in a couple of biomes after you defeat... I don't know, Moonlord? Question mark? Empress of Light, maybe? I'm sure it's not an optional boss, actually. Look at how far away this is coming from. Oh my god, that's just obnoxious. Like, even even playing a glass cannon, it's not really a threat, I just have to teleport away. Security chest goes here. Uh, Drayden's log can go in here. Requires a code breaker with a sophisticated display to decrypt. Uh, I probably missed something. Let me have another look in these chests on the off chance that I did actually have a magma stone. But I'm pretty sure it's one of the few th things we didn't have. Yeah. Magma stone. Lava bat and hell bat. Which means we just have to go to the underworld. Oh, how much of that circuitry do we have? 52. And with this we can make... I remember there was something in particular. Yeah. Was this it? The bullseye thing. We only need 15. 10 luminite bars. 15 dubious plating. Fifteen dubious plating, luminite bars, uh, what was the other thing? Four Galactica Singularities and the Deadshot Breach. Galactica Singularity. Deadshot Reach. I don't know if it's going to be in here. Here it is, I think. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so we probably need the Ancient Manipulator. Is this class agnostic? All nearby enemies and bosses are marked with bullseyes. Ranged attacks. That Ranged attacks. Does it mean rage ranged attacks? Damage or attacks that are at range? I guess we can find out. Oh my goodness. What? I wasn't expecting it to mark all of the bunnies and butterflies with bullseyes. <laughs> Uh, let's go find something else. Ranged attacks that strike a bullseye always critically strike and deal massive damage. Wait. That was not a crit. Uh, yeah, we're seeing some non-crits, so I don't think it works for melee damage.
the uh, the bullseyes are amusing though. Kind of make it hard to see what an enemy is or, or a creature if it's small though. That scared me a little bit. I wasn't expecting that. Okay. So we'll put this in the chest for ranged accessories. And what else are we... Where did I just quick stack that to? Probably the void bag? No. Void bag. Okay. Mysterious circuitry. What else can we make with this? The sponge. 20 defense, 10% increased damage reduction, 30 life. Yes, please. 5% increased movement speed and jump. Standing still boosts life and mana regen. Enemies take damage when they touch you. You emit a cloud of mushroom spores when you are hit. Oh, this is an upgrade to the absorber. Um, which we can't make yet. Right? What was this called? The absorber. Absorb. What? How about this? Middle click. The absorber. Maybe we can make it. Tenebris. Luminil. I know we've got a few depth cells. Oh, we do have Luminil. What about Tenebris? Where the hell do we get that? Tenebris. We've got 11. I have no idea where it's from, though. Uh, so let's look again. Five Tenebris. We've got that. Uh... All of these accessories we've got. Mollusk Husk. Judging by the text color, we probably have it somewhere. But I don't know where we would get it. Mollusk Husk. Oh, there's Depth Cells. Where do we find husk? From clams and giant clams. So we should have them. Can't hurt to go pick some up though. Let's clean out our inventory. Did that star just kill a zombie? Yeah, that happens. Boofy, good to see you again. A oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Where did my Terra Prismas go? Um, I don't think we need more factories. Probably. Let's pick up all the tech stuff. Seems good. Quick stack. Charging stations can go in here as well. I'm just going to sell these things. Even Cursed Flame is probably irrelevant by now. Uh, let's upgrade the Terrarian because, wow. Legendary Terrarian. Whoops. Fantastic. And... Empty the void bag. Up 
Obsidian Rose might still be hard to get. What's this? Murasama. Wait, what? Uh, what? 4,381 true melee damage? Insane knockback, there will be blood. Slow speed. ID and power level locked. Prove your strength or have the correct user ID to wield this sword? Uh, what? Prove your strength. Fascinating. Okay then. Can sell and stack the rest. Empty inventory is best inventory. And we're still looking for the magma stone. Oh, and what was this other stuff? Uh, Mollusk Husk. Yeah, we're going to the Sunken Sea over here. Should we just cut a path through here? Or at least leave some lights. our giant clam way down there could you stop thank you let's just dig through this let's get some breath and clam soul of night navy stone mollusk husk that's what we're looking for Where's the giant clam? I think I went past it. It's... oh, it's right here. Okay. Can I reach this? There we go. Mystic Poseidon. How many mollusk husks did we get? 32. We need like 7, right? 5, yeah, we're good. And Tenebris. What on earth is Tenebris? I know we've got some, but I'm curious. Can be placed material. It doesn't come from crafting or... A monster. So it's probably just something you pick up somewhere. I mean, the uh, it's probably something you mine. Okay, Tenebris, Navy, uh, Mollusk Husk. Fifteen Luminil, fifteen Depth Cells. We've only got three Luminil. Do we have Death Cells? I think they might be in here. No. Depth Cells.
Did I use them all? Let's find out if we did have mollusk husk somewhere. Not that I can see. Okay. Free heart mode, calamity, mollusk husk, depth cells, there we go. But I think those are probably... Depth cells. Oarfish, toxic minnow, viperfish, reaper shark, devilfish. That's where we got our devil. Oh, and we get luminol from them as well. Okay. Let's try going back to the stupid aquatic heart. Uh, to the abyss. Transforms the holder into a water elemental. Going underwater gives you a buff, reduce breath loss, and provides a small amount of light. Enemies become frozen when they touch you. Ice shield that regenerates. You can swim now. And I think there was another... Is it in the piggy bank? There was another accessory that we'd been building. Um, it's made out of... Anequic plating. Abyssal diving gear. I think we did make that, but where is it? Shame game. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Abyssal diving gear. Where be you? I could have sworn I kept it somewhere like unique and special, like piggy bank or this chest. Death's charm. Is this the best we could do? Reduces the damage caused by the pressure of the abyss while out of breath. Bleed effect caused by the upper layers. I guess that's it. It's probably as good as it gets. We should already have a Poseidon. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, okay, I'll take one last look in here, but uh, I th think we weren't able to finish the diving gear. We need depth cells and luminol. Well, that's what we're going for right now anyway. Let's get it done. I need to know where the jellyfish diving gear went though. Utility? Um, it should be in the water chest. Oh no. It should definitely be in like the safe or the piggy bank, but I don't see it. Let's just go get the depth cells in Luminol. You have a very calm voice, my friend. Thank you. Where on earth could I have left it, though? And why am I falling? Oh. Oh, wow. Good God. Yeah, this is... This is the flight experience that the Calamity devs want you to have. It's painful. All right, down we go for our luminol and depth cells. Uh, I'm sinking a lot faster, that's helpful. Oh, this doesn't go anywhere, that's nice. 
Let's heal up real quick. I should really grab the uh, superheated lava, the underwater shark mount, as opposed to the above water shark mount when I come over here. But we can get down without it well enough. Let's regen our health a bit. Oh, we're actually just hovering. How about now? There we go. Remember, don't use Relocator? Yeah. Oh, I'm already out of breath. That's not great. I didn't bring Gil's potions. <laughs> Alright, let's just get a bit deeper and... Ow! Ow. Hey, I got breath somehow. What the... How am I getting breath from this spot. That's pretty weird. But I was going to say I'll just get as deep as I can, use a potion of return, And we'll come back with a Gills Potion. Where are my Gills Potions? Here we go. I should just swing this all the time. chest. Oh no. Oh no, where did I put the key? Rip key. We can make another one even if I did actually. I, I, I very much doubt I sold it or something, but we can get another one regardless. I don't think we get super special stool. That's interesting. My breath is actually holding steady here. No, it's very slowly going down. That's spooky. That's very spooky. Is it going to attack or can it not see me or something? I want to see how much further we can go. Oh, this is Luminal? Voidstone. Tenebris. This is where we get Tenebris. Okay. Let's stack that away. Abyssal Treasures. Not very interesting, actually. Where's the shopkeep? I think next time I'll make a shopkeep room that he can't wander away from. And... what's in the void bag? Nothing. So what is keeping our breath from lasting longer? Uh, from running out faster. Reduces breath loss and provides a small amount of light in the abyss. Okay. Speaking of light in the abyss. Oh, let's check for the shadow key. There it is, in the safe. 
just reactivate this. And open our shadow chests. Nothing too exciting in here. Oh. This is different. This this is giving me the heebie jeebies. Like uh like finding a big open area in Subnautica and hearing Reaper Leviathans roaring. Oh my god! Okay. Um, that... That was a good joke. Pretty funny, actually. Well done. Well done, you. Wasn't expecting to suddenly take 570 damage in the space of less than a second. Just by being underwater. Depth's crush without the diving suit is hard? Yeah, apparently. Was it because I... Did the damage start when I ran out of breath? Or did it just start when I reached this depth? We should probably have enough to finish... Uh, finish the diving suit, though. Now, where on earth did I put the arctic diving gear? It's not in my vanity slots or something, right? Arctic diving gear. I need factory search. I didn't end up putting it in a class accessory chest, did I? I guess Summoner would make the most sense because I was Summoner when I last went there. You just got crushed. One would think the damage from that would escalate not as suddenly. Slow fuel cell bundle. Okay. This is actually driving me crazy. I definitely made a arctic diving gear. Jellyfish diving gear, ice skates. Diving gear, jellyfish necklace. Diving helmet and flipper. I remember we fished for the flipper, it was uh, a bit of a pain. And diving helmet has to come from shark. So we can't easily replace it either. Where on earth would I have put Arctic diving gear? Let me sort this and look over all of it, even though it's going to mess up my organization. Yeah, no, it's not. It's not here. I'm going to end up having to look through every single chest in this entire place. I think I might have to concede and use that mod with the magic chests, because I, I saw someone using it and it had a very nice UI. It's not just... Oh, here's that mount I was talking about. It's not just a gigantic uh, storage. I'm really starting to clutch at straws here, looking for where I might have put this thing. Oh, maybe in the waiting... T You're joking. We had abyssal diving gear this whole time. 
Uh, what do we need to upgrade it? Luminite bars, tenebris, depth cells, luminil, mollusk husk, and plating. We have that. We have all of that. Mollusk husk, depth cells, uh, plating, luminil, tenebris, and luminite bar. Luminil, tenebris. Where's the luminil? We've got ten. That's probably not enough. We need the ancient manipulator. And... So does this reduce the crush damage? Greatly reduces breath loss in the abyss. Light underwater. Greatly extends underwater breathing. Removes the bleed effect. Reduces the damage caused by the pressure of the abyss while out of breath. Okay. But can we upgrade it yet? I don't think we can. Uh, 40 luminel, that's a lot. 40 depth cells, that's... we've got enough. 15 tenebris, we've got exactly enough. And of course, luminite bars. I'm gonna put all of that in here. How much uh, mollusk husk do we need? Only 15. First line? Yeah, yeah. I started at the bottom, weirdly enough. Uh, 15 tenebris. And we are missing 31 luminil. Let's find out exactly where we get it. It's just from enemies. Okay, so we have to farm. We have to go to the abyss and farm where we can. And mollusk husk? Yeah, no, that was right. Okay, let's stack this stuff away where we can. And... Should I stack it with the aquatic heart? Probably. Almost definitely. Reforge. Give me wadding. I said warding, not silent three times. Warding. There we go. Your breath was stable when you saw the luminite. Shouldn't be a problem. Okay. Abyssal diving gear goes here. And it doesn't stack with the hard depth charm, does it? Probably not worth. Okay. Back we go. Oh, we don't have a portal. Budgie Bum, Andy Gaming. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What are we hunting today? Uh various kinds of fish so that we can get I don't even remember what actually oh that was weird I think because I started flying without the soaring insignia it didn't do its job alright we still take damage here didn't it say... Oh? Aquatic Scourge. Is that what this is? Oh, I remember this. We summoned this. Yeah, it's not much of a big deal at this stage. Right. 
probably this thing would be good against a worm boss. I don't even feel like bothering to dodge it. Probably should dodge the front of it, but that's about it. Oh yeah, we could try the terrarium. That's not too bad. Okay, I, I was very careless there, but I didn't have to be careful. What's this? Those things are annoying. What is hitting me? Okay, let's heal up. I forgot to swap my ninja gear back late earlier. Chaffy Snow, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Didn't you teleport to the sea during the profane guardian fight? Uh, yeah, I kind of forgot that I have the magic conch. Okay. I think I will keep the shiny stone equipped for, uh, for going down here. Shaffy Stone, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I went the wrong way again. I have to say, it is kind of crazy how tanky we are with this set. Heal up. Oh, I didn't even take my gills potion yet. This isn't too bad. Do not teleport. In fact, I shouldn't have brought the relocator with me. If I do teleport, am I going to have like half a second to escape? Alright, so here we should probably do a Zerg potion. Oh no, I need to reorganize all of this. Uh, where is my Zerg Potion? Here it is. And... Potion of Omniscience. Do I also have a Battle Potion? I do not. Could put down a Heart Lantern. It's not exactly building an arena, is it? Do I need to move around to find enemies? I guess I do. Do not teleport. Do not teleport. Teleport bad. I'm not loving these damage things that get left behind. Uh, where's our light pet? That's better. This is the only light pet I'll ever bother with, since it's specifically for the Abyss. Uh, what kind of Abyssal Gravel? That's not what I'm looking for. But I'll clean this up anyway. What's this stuff? Scoria ore. Sure. I should just dig out all of this stuff as I go, or a lot of it. Let's grab ourselves a mining potion. Um, what a mess I've made of my inventory here. Mining potion, food, and we can dig nice and fast now. Oh, 
What was that? What the? If I dig this out, will it stop dripping scorching stuff on me? Looks like the answer's yes. That's a good lot of enemies. Give to me all of that, please. Yoink. Didn't you teleport to see... During the Profane Guardian fight? Uh... Oh yeah, 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 no, I thought you were asking for something different again. I went to Abyss before I did Moonlord and got all the stuff after Pride and, and stuff. I tried to go there before Hard Mode and it was a bit much, so I didn't try it again for a while. Colossal squid. Looks like fun. But I should probably prepare the ground a bit first. Are we losing breath? Did I run out of gills potion or is it just too deep? I think it's I ran out of gills potion. Oh, it's up here. If you go too deep, you start losing breath. Yeah, I know. Planned it all the hard way. I don't need a third torrential tier treasure bag. Oh, that's right, we killed the aquatic scourge. We've got 18 luminel, we're looking for 40, and I think we already had like 10 at home. I was going to say, is it going to be this easy? Probably not. Okay, so it basically just dashes at us, I think. It's got a lot of hit points. I can't get down fast enough. Yeah, let's go. Let's leave. I should have created more space or found somewhere before fighting that. Quick Deep Diver. 15% increased damage, movement speed, and defense while underwater. While underwater you gain the ability to dash great distances? Dash is volatile enough as it is. Uh, but that is... very compelling. If not for the set of stuff I already had. Do you have the Calamity Music mod? I actually looked for that, but I, it wasn't as easy to install as I thought it would be. Jakey, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Bleached Angling Kit has a chance to contain various fishing gear. And there's our earring. That might have saved us some time. All right, let's stack away what we can. And what else? We don't need another set of angling gear, though. Uh, I'll keep the earring. It's not exactly easy to obtain. Don't know if we have a spare of that.
Baron Nautical. Well. That doesn't seem very good. Oh yeah, we got this before. That was from the boss. The very early, much earlier game boss. I'll keep this. Um, put away the rest, I think. Corrosive Spine, 10% movement speed, 4 defense, rogue weapons. You release a ton of clouds on the hit. Fascinating. Where did it go? I didn't sell it, did I? Maybe. It's pretty outdated, I'm not that concerned. Abyssal Gravel... Aquatic Scourge Relic, we already put that down. Don't need Sonar Potions anymore. And... A Void Bag has nothing in it. Okay, that enemy should be gone by now. Let's re-up our buffs. And go get more of whatever is down here. Do I have Zerg potions still? I do. Fantastic. Yeah, I don't want to pick a fight with one of those squids unless we've got more space to fight it. Where's our light pet? Oh, it is here. This is as good as it gets. Luminil we've had because we've quick stacked some of it. Do not teleport. In fact, put the teleport thing away. Potion. Fantastic. What's that? Black? And oh, I remember this. It was good at the time. Hello, friend. Gulper Eel. You're a big one. just heal up and then I'll play with you. See how it goes. Oh, it's actually pretty easy to deal with this. This is about what I expected the fight with the octopus thing to be. Yeah, this one. This one is much, much, much more dangerous. In every way, actually. What's this? What is... What am I hitting? this thing. Mirage Jellyfish. Is it not real? No. Oh. 
What was that? I have the itchiest teleport home finger. Are we good? Don't want to play with the giant squid. Whoops, I'm playing with the giant squid, aren't I? I think that was a weaker version of what I fought earlier. How much luminil do we have now? Where did my void bag just go? Oh, I see. I don't know what I had here earlier. Oh yeah, it was the teleport thing. Okay. Uh, how much luminal do we have? Six? Only six? Oh, 26. Okay, so I think we still have a few to go. The other is Colossal, I see. For the squids, right? Giant squid. Yeah, slight difference. Slight difference in how much damage they take. Uh, we are running low on breath. Where's my gills potion? Four minutes now. I should use this more. How deep am I? Not that deep. The breath isn't getting any better. There's that sound again. It's very creepy. Oh, is this... is this what it was? Gulper eel? I'm not scared of a gulper eel. Oops. Okay, I shouldn't have gone that way. I thought it would be dead. Oh, I can, like, one-shot those worms with this. 45 luminil. I think we're good now. At least for what I want in the immediate term. Look how hard to see this stuff is. Alright, that's the wrong thing. Back we go. Hello there. Insert Obi-Wan meme ref entrance. At land. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Luminel should be the last thing we need to make. I don't even remember what. Uh, the Abyssal Diving Suit. Uh, let's check. Abyssal diving gear. Check. Plating. Check. Uh, iron boots. I know where they are. They're down here. I tried to teleport, but I forgot I put it away. Iron boots. And there it is. So this is as good as it gets for one accessory, making the abyss less ridiculous. Reduces damage taken by 15%. Only takes damage if damage taken is over 50?
After it's taking too much damage, Sarmid's plates will take three seconds to regen. So we've got a separate bunch of stacks. We've got at least one separate stack of damage reduction things. It seems like. It sounds like I'll be wearing this outside of the water. Immunity to the sulfurous waters. Increase max movement speed and acceleration while underwater, but you move slowly outside of water. Okay. How slowly are we talking here? That's not that bad. And we can always just dash to get up to speed. We just slow down faster and speed up slower with normal movement. But if we dash or use hoverboard, uh, it doesn't really make a difference. Abyssal diving suit, you are made of metal. The plates will absorb 15% damage. Uh, let's make it warding as well. Reforge. I want to try this against some bosses and see just how tanky we are now. How many reforges do I need for warding? Oh my god, this is getting... expensive. There we go. We got nothing but plus four rolls, but it was all of the other plus four rolls. Are you sure fighting bosses without arenas? Don't tell me you're going to use Abyssal Diving Gear outside of water. I just might. When we've already got a critical mass of damage reduction that is getting a bit over the top. Um, stacking 15% damage reduction on top of that is... And also, uh, plates will only take damage if damage taken is over 50. Does that mean we don't take damage unless it breaks that threshold? Or do we lose the damage reduction from the Abyssal Diving Gear once we take a certain amount of damage? Abyssal Diving Suit Plates will absorb 15% damage. Do we lose that once we take a big enough hit? Or how does it work? Let's try something a bit tougher. Yeah, movement, acceleration is slow, and deceleration is fast, but if we dash or use the hoverboard, well, mostly just if we dash, it doesn't really matter. And we can dash into using the hoverboard, actually. Or not, because... Oh, right, Soaring Insignia has to go somewhere. That actually makes it a harder decision. How much damage reduction do we get from this? Absorbs 20% damage but breaks after one hit. After 30 seconds it regenerates. Hmm. Aquatic Heart. How did we make this? Aquatic Heart. It was just a drop. Okay. from question marks. Oh, 
bosses will not care about your damage reduction? Um, up to a point. So, like, my philosophy is once they hit hard enough, you're better off being a glass cannon, but I'm really surprised at just how tanky this is. So I want to push it and see what happens. So let's grab some bosses. Maybe not start with Death Whistle. <laughs> um, not Cosmic Worm either. Probably not Moon Lord. Start a little bit smaller than that. How about the twins? So that barely scratched me. Um, okay. Could we actually AFK the twins? They're at 95% and we are at about 90. The thing is, we keep getting our health back. I'm not even using buffs though. I'm not using Iron Skin, Regen, uh, Endurance, Thorns. We're at full health. I think I think this would make it to the second phase at least. But why do you have Aquatic Heart? Uh, because we were in the Abyss. And even more damage reduction. I'm sure there's probably something else we could stack for better damage reduction. Maybe? Probably? I haven't been playing melee much. Okay, let's assume this continues for a little while. I was expecting a lot more damage than this. Okay, they would eventually kill us though. How about Moon Lord? Might be good to try. How high can I fly with this? Uh, we can still almost fly to space, so we can definitely get over Moon Lord. But we will have to use the ground. So that barely scratched me, says the guy to early hard mode boss. It's not that early. Besides, like I said, we're starting smaller. This is not Revengeance? Uh, no it's not. Black Anurian, let's sell that. And so on. Maybe there's a step before Moon Lord that would be a better test though. Golem? Plantera? Um, why don't we do a golem? See how that looks. Yeah, it's pretty weak, but not weak enough. Not weak enough for AFK, though. <laughs> There's a very big difference between... Uh, not weak enough to make the fight easy, and not weak enough to AFK. Not that Golem is difficult, but that's 
sort of beside the point here. What's faster? Maybe this? Probably not. Having the homing missiles just makes things that much more easy. I don't even have to bother dodging this. It feels weird that the uh, this section doesn't deal contact damage. What's our best single target deeps though with the melee class? 1700 if we hit it all. It's not that good. This is only like 1200. How about. That looks like that was higher. What are you casual, says my inner souls player? Congratulations. Uh, let's put this stuff away. What would be better? A better test. What could we swap out for the melee class compared to this, though? It, it, it has to stack uh, defense, otherwise... Absorbs 25% of play damage done to players on your team. Oh, we can make the frozen shield, right? Uh, I think pretty easily. Frozen turtle shell. Do I have that? I think this is one of the few items that I haven't picked up. Oh, you can craft it. Essence of Illum and Turtle Shell. Easy. Where's my teleport? Essence of Illum. Turtle Shell. And where do we craft it though? At the ice machine? I've never actually used one. Um, can we make it? Ice, snow, and iron. Oh, we may have found one earlier. Let's check. Oh, I think we're good. Or rather, not good. Uh, iron, ice, and snow. Let's put this stuff away. Sunstone, probably up here. Let's stack this away till we're ready. And sell the relic. We've got snow in here somewhere. Nice. Snow. Fantastic. Alright, so... Where is it? We need an anvil? We've got an anvil. 25 ice, 25... Uh, 15... I think we quick stuck the iron away. There it is. Frozen turtle shell. And we probably need the Tinkerer's Workshop. Here it is. Puts a shell around the owner that, when below 50% life, that reduces damage by 25%. But that's every hit, not like the uh, Aquatic Heart. Breaks after one hit. Yeah, this is probably not as good. 
There's also something we could upgrade the frozen shield into. Oh, it stacks with the deific amulet. Um, but we don't know where to get divine geodes or cosmolite bars or ascendant spirit essences, so let's not get ahead of ourselves. This doesn't have a percentage-based damage reduction, does it? No. Alright, so let's make this... whoops. Let's make it warding. And... There we go. Hey, Mikey. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Is this Vanilla Terraria? Only played about five minutes? No, it's modded. It's, uh... I was gonna say very modded. We've only got a few mods, but Calamity is, like... Okay, it wouldn't be doing space exploration justice to say Calamity is to Terraria what space exploration is to Factorio. But... But it adds a lot. Oh, it's... Oh, I did just check what this is a material for. Duh. And this is only a material for the same. Alright. Just how much damage can we take with this? Probably... A little bit more, basically. I wonder how much we deal with Thorn's Potions. What would be the strongest boss we can AFK with this, I wonder? Yeah, that's pretty weak. Um, I think we're getting back to... S we're not... We're back to full health. Lol. I'm sure the second phase is going to hit a little bit harder than this. Curious to see how far we can get standing still. Oh, here we go. Yeah, 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 that would have been like five hits. That's a lot more than regular. Let's see how let's see how easy Moon Lord is with this set. I don't know, DPS could be better though, obviously. Then again, you don't actually need that much damage against Moon Lord. Let's grab the sigil. Um, I want to make sure I summon him on the minute. So we know exactly when his beam is every 15 seconds. Hurry up and beam. There you go. Yeah, I, I haven't even buffed, we're taking hits, and we're still, like, really healthy. Am 
might have to teleport the next beam. Right, we're good. Let's keep doing the figure eights. Oh, here we go. I probably would have had time to get back to the ground, actually. Oh, he teleported. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, I don't have my teleport yet. Now I do. Uh, it is... We're taking our sweet time killing him, though. I haven't even got one of the hands down yet. Oops. Oh, it's been a while since I've fought him without flying a lot. I didn't really think about the little uh, mini beams. They barely hurt. get his eyes? Nope. They're just shut. Well, I guess there's no point shooting until his eye opens. And that actually tells us that he's gonna beam soon, even though we can't see him. Oh wow, I didn't think it would keep seeking that aggressively. Okay, I think even if it did make it that much easier, I don't know if I'll use melee to kill bosses because this is a marathon. <laughs> Maybe I should try using the, uh, this thing for more damages. Oh, I nearly died. Well, kind of. I was getting a bit lazy there. Good regen for you. What's our deeps? 2,000? as opposed to uh, like 1400 at best. Yeah, it's worth trying to aim, even if we don't know exactly where to. I did not think I could be this tanky against Moonlord. Uh, 
Even if it's with a little bit of post moonlock here, yeah, we're not that far beyond him. Is that it? Yep, that's it. Is this Terraria? I have the game but played... Oh wait, wait, I read that already. Whoops. Sorry, Mikey. I'm doing an SE playthrough at the moment, actually, but yeah. I get you, an overholy sort of experience. Yeah, it's like... Um, but for the most part, it leaves the vanilla stuff intact. Your hubris was almost your undoing? Of course. Alright, did we get anything new? I think we need Meow Mir still. Uh, no, Ma no Meow Mir, feels bad. Alright, let's go stack this stuff away. But... Yeah, definitely not the worst. It definitely exceeded my expectations, uh, going tanky like this. I, I, I think if we tried to use it against uh, profaned guardians, we would probably take twice as many hits to die. Maybe more, but we'd still not last a whole lot of time. But I do want to run the experiment regardless. Let's put the porter bulb back. And the sigil. Let's sell this stuff. Don't need another tier. Let me just quick stack. I probably put a second tier in here, didn't I? Yep. I think I've already got both menacing and warding. But celestial started, so we'll sell that. Ink bomb. There are several ink bombs when hit that explode into a confusing cloud of ink. Gain a lot of stealth when struck. This effect has a 25 second cooldown. When did we get this? It sounds like an early game item. Like, very early game. Colossal Squid and Cuttlefish. Yeah, that's pretty manageable. Sell, sell, sell. I'll keep the Luminite. And... I think I've got most of these things already. Oh, I didn't have Seedler. Or I sold it. It's not relevant anymore, except that it is a material for Zenith. So we'll put that away. Don't need the temple key. Celestial Onion. Consuming it does something that... Oh, yeah, I remember this. It does nothing. How did the guide get up there? Probably by dying and respawning. All right, should we run this damn foolish experiment? I'll take Cosmolite with me just so that we can end the fight uh, quickly. There's still room for improvement weapon-wise. Do you mean weapons I already have or have access to? I 
I wouldn't be surprised. I don't know the melee stuff. Responix, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Access to not have. Right. So stuff I could craft right now. Regardless, I'm more interested in how deadly is it was profane shard, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, 4 30 a.m. We've got damage reduction, max health. Don't need summoning potion really. Uh I'll take more thorns. Are they here? Are they here? Uh, damage reduction, thorns, health max, movement, damage, stimulants. I should make more stimulants. Food. That's about everything, really. And we need to use it in the hallow. Is the party girl back? The party girl is back. Fantastic. Alright. How many hits do you think it would take to die with this set? I'm going to go with seven. Is it my imagination, or is it much easier to avoid the projectiles right now? Maybe they were enraged earlier? They're not keeping up. Something's definitely different. I think... I think I must have enraged them before. And actually, this is... Uh, the damage reduction is not scaling even up as well as I expected. Like, this is what I expected, but worse. We've dealt 1% damage to them. Not that different from Ranger, though, honestly. Because Ranger, we have to give up the fight after, like, less than a minute. I don't understand how I'm having such an easy time kiting them, though. Okay. Um... Can I not use Cosmolite during a boss fight? Does not work when a boss is alive. Okay, that's exactly how that works. Um... In that case, we need to... Wait it out. I could probably spend the entire day getting them down to like 85% health. Or we could just bounce around the world instead. Oh, I do know something that'll probably work to get rid of them actually. We've got some enchanted sundials uh, back at spawn. Let's see if that works. Where's my teleport? There we go. Five p.m. and and they're gone. We can only do that once a week. So if I'm going to try killing them as a ranger now, I have to commit to it. I have to go to the trouble of swapping class though. Oh, mage might be better because we get uh, we get the buffs including regen. from dealing damage. Except I don't 
The reason I didn't go mage before is I don't know if we have a direct damage weapon that really compares. Especially to that bow. What was it called? What was that bow called? Where did I put it? Uh, Planetary Annihilation. 79 times 7. So like 500 damage. A shot. I can't really... I would have to build some pla uh, a platform in the sky. And use a super dummy to give it a fair DPS comparison. Let's do that. The uh, the melee s uh, the melee tank gear is very nice for walking around, but oh, I accidentally didn't have the ninja belt equipped. That would have helped a bit, but not uh, pushed things over the edge. Let's put these over here. Alright, so we want menacing almost everything. got our new DPS accessory. Converts all ranged crit strike chance boosts into extra critical strike damage. Does that mean plus, uh, does that mean menacing or uh, lucky are going to be pretty much the same if we're wearing this? Give me that helmet. Yeah. And then... Which accessories are we using? Recon scope. And technically this is more damage. Oh, I'm missing the... Sorry, insignia. Okay. We've got our DPS meter in the cell phone. Uh, let's compare... Oh, we want to use the regular arrows because they turn into the homing arrows. And we'll put our melee stuff here. Starlight is great and all, but I think we already outgrew it by the time we equipped it. Celebration Mark II, Planetary Annihilation. Uh, what else? Oh, we didn't upgrade the sniper rifle yet. I want to try that. Where is it? Sniper rifle... Requires... Vortex Fragment and Shroomite Bar. Is that all? Let's go grab it. Vortex Fragment, Shroomite Bar, how many did we need? 11, we've got 10, how rude. And I need to make Shroomite, oh here it is, and we need Mushrooms. Mushroom... And 
and then anvil, I guess? Ancient manipulator. That makes more sense. Shroomer. Insane no Oh, it's still a material. We need divine geodes and tiger skin. Eyes, bullets, and an extremely powerful homing mushroom. That's cute. Anti-material rifle. Wow. Cosmolite bars. Alright then. Let's upgrade it. clicked. Good to know that uh, the teleport works even if we're pointing at our inventory though. That's weird. Um, let me look and see what it looks like without chlorophyte bullets. So it shoots a bullet and a homing mushroom, it looks like. It is literally just a mushroom. <laughs> just the glowing mushroom sprite. Spinning and trailing. Uh, have we got all of our equipment? Yes. I need a target to test this on. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, I was going to put a platform up in the sky. So that we can put a target dummy... Uh, a super target dummy here. Get rid of the Terra Prisma. So we can compare DPS. So we're looking at 7 or 8k if we have the stealth mode on. Bullet 6 or 7 otherwise. Wait, does it do the target thing? Yeah, it does. Okay. And let's compare our best mage DPS against that. Do we have any range of specific DPS here? Yeah, I think the spirit origin is. Oh, and I forgot to re-roll that, but we'll do that in a minute. It'll be close enough. Let's grab Nano Purge. Get all this stuff out of my inventory. Get the mage set. I need more inventory space, actually, before I do this. Let's put this away for now. And also this. Alright. Mage set. And probably... Should probably compare it with Nano Purge. Yeah, I don't think we're going to use anything else, to be honest. If I use nuclear, what's it, we're going to fill the screen and not be able to see projectiles coming. Um, and the other homing spells don't keep up with the direct damage, 
even if we miss a bunch with the nano purge. So we'll give this a try. And to give it a fair comparison, I will have the auto mana consumption equipped. Let's get our mana pots back though. Where did I put them? Uh oh. Mana potions. Where could you be? Probably in the safe. That's a calming potion. I don't think I sold them. Because I had hundreds. Oh, I probably put them down in the mage stuff. Yeah, here they are. Almost 10,000 super mana potions. Okay. Um, so let's compare. First of all, I need to put on the mage set. Second of all, I need a super target dummy. And lastly... Oh wow. It's not even close. Even if most of our shots hit, and even if on the ranger set we're not stealthing, and even if we have our buffs, yeah, even even under ideal circumstances it can't keep up. Okay, so we're definitely going ranger for the moment. As much as I love this mage set. In the lower part of the base, thank you. Nagaskin, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's put these away. And... I probably don't need gills potions at the moment. Probably. Oh, I wanted to test the Shroomer as well, with just regular bullets. Oh, hello. Um, if you insist. Yeah, that homing bullet's pretty decent. And presumably the regular shot is... Oh, the rate of fire is so much better than expected. Let's get a target dummy here. It's actually like 2200 deeps. I don't expect good deeps on a sniper rifle. You wanted to craft it and that's a mage weapon. Didn't you have the effervescence? Effervescence. Effervescence. Calamity mod. Shroom we don't have Cosmolite bars. Yeah, the, we, we haven't beaten the Devourer of Gods yet. Okay. That seems decent. Uh, let's put this away. Um, but yeah, the Shroomer... Not the Shroomer, the uh, Planetary Annihilation. Is definitely going to be our air-to-air -air DPS. Okay. I guess I'll take another crack at 
profane shard. The profaned guardians, rather. I'll grab an ammo conservation potion. Some terra prisms. Where did it go? There it is. Let's grab our rage potions as well. And I'll see if I can replicate that circle where they weren't chasing us as hard. Because for some reason when I was Ranger, it was impossible to stay away from them. But I was just casually going in circles. I forgot to go up here as well. Exodium. Uh, for some reason when I was testing out the melee armor, it was easy. So maybe it's because they enraged or something earlier. I don't know. I hope it's that easy. Where's my dash? Oh, we're good, actually. It seems like the projectiles are slower. They must have been enraged. Or maybe it was... No, I don't think we did enough damage to reach another phase of the fight. The only trouble is when they're above us, it's hard to get the projectiles to go where we want. Oh yeah, I should double tap up. So far so good. And I left the hallow, didn't I? Try and fix that. Didn't have the acceleration I thought I would there. Probably should have used the hoverboard. Okay, okay, that was just a mistake. Okay. Was I out of the hallow, though? Hard to say. They must have changed the recipe. It always... It was always post-Moon Lord 1.3. Nasty. I hardly did any damage to them, though. This is with my... The best DPS gear I have available... Uh, it said they were, like, 99% health. I'm not keeping that up for, like... Well, I was gonna say I'm not keeping that up for 40 minutes, but they would disappear at the end of the day regardless. So... Did Boss Log lie to us again? Is this just not really feasible at this stage? It did drop the healer to 40%, I think. Oh, okay. Uh, I want to see if Astrum Aureus is easy at this point, as long as we're gearing up for boss fights. Astrum Aureus. Or let's try... I'm going to regret this, but let's try the Death Whistle as well. Where is he?
now. Oh, I forgot how bad the phase after this is. I'm definitely going to regret this. Oh, come on. Where did my acceleration go? I should use the hover. Here we go. Oh yeah, I forgot. The problem was that we couldn't get below this thing and the core disappeared. Yep, it happened again. I don't know if I had the opportunity to drop further back down again, uh, but previously, at, at the wrong moment, uh, when I used the slime mount to drop as quickly as possible, it still just arbitrarily matched position. Um, falling at a rate of 102 miles per hour to not let us pass. And then the, the main boss down the bottom just disappeared. Um, but it was... we were close. We almost finished it. Why did I put my shiny stone away? I need that for... Uh, for healing without potions. Uh, but yeah, that seems doable now. Very doable, actually. Just don't have to last anywhere near as long. And also... Astrum Deus. Or Astrum Aureus, was it? Astrum Aureus. Astral infection during nighttime, enrages during the day. All right, let's see how we go. Ooh, enchanted worm. That's a lot more damages already. Oh, come on. Yeah, I remember why I hate this boss. Wow. Dodge at the right time, and then he just says no. Just, like, locks onto your position and moves towards it, no matter what. Maybe I should teleport away from him when he does that, but I'm sure he does that more often than every 20 seconds. What if I used the slime mount and bounce on his head? When that sounds like the best strategy, you know you're in trouble. Like, why couldn't I dash? Yeah, I literally, even with ho even with hoverboard, I cannot prevent him from standing on my head. I fail to see what you're supposed to do there. Let's put on the tank gear to find out. Actually, I don't know. He might hit hard enough that we don't really gain that much more time to try and figure out his pattern, but it's worth a try. Let's put the stupid skull straw away, and this stuff as well. I wish it would recognize when you're trying to swap out um, accessories in sequence just by doing them in order. 
over a few seconds. Did we use the tortoise shell before? I don't think so. It was the diving gear, wasn't it? As opposed to this. Deific amulet. Oh yeah, we were using the warding stone to try and see if we could AFK things. Alright, this will be decent for a try. Uh, the idea is not to beat him, the idea is just to have more than 12 seconds to try and figure out a movement pattern. Oh. Uh, you know what, I'm not even going to bother swapping weapons. Maybe the diving suit wouldn't be entirely optimal, but... No, we can just dash, though. Okay. Don't tell me... Don't tell me he arbitrarily follows you if you're in the air when you dash under him. That's a war crime. Like, let me guess, he stops that stupid warpy move once he gets close enough to the ground? Is this it? When are you gonna jump, though? I guess I, I just have to know when I'm allowed to jump over your head, which is not now. I guess he does it three times. Four times. Five times. It seems to be a sequence of three. starts painting me into a corner like that, if I try to stay on the ground. This was a good idea though, using... Yeah, okay, so basically whenever you jump he's gonna change the laws of physics. wish he'd just pick a set of laws of physics and stick with it. It's kind of like soft science fiction or something. Just making it up as you go. But I think I learned enough. Let's see about deleting him. Where's the shiny stone? And... I guess we're not using... We're not using Soaring Insignia for this fight, right? Plot armor the boss? Yeah. Should we just go some extra defense instead of Soaring Insignia?
life, life regen, but also cooling, uh, cooldown reduction on healing. Uh, definitely sounds worthwhile. And we want the flattest possible area, which is going to be to the left of town in the snow biome. Okay. This is not a whole lot of flat area, actually. Probably planetary annihilation will still be the way to go. Oh, it has to be during the night time? What time is that? 4.30? Oh, it has to be used over here, but he doesn't have to stay in this biome. So I should probably like bring him over here. This is a nice big flat area. I thought I lost him. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Shouldn't have let my guard down there. I thought the fight was over. The sound is being very weird. And I couldn't find a moment to double tap up and double tap left. Oh, that was unnecessary. Whoops. What is happening with my sound though? It's all gone. Um, how about we restart Terraria real quick. I'll put the tank gear away. And this will just take a second. I don't know to what extent uh, as I try to get over that hill he might say, you're flying, therefore get wrecked. But if we can drag him over there without taking too much damage, it'll make the rest of it a lot easier. I'm actually disgusted at the difference in how easy it is to dodge on the ground level, and if you have the audacity to fly, you just get swatted. As if your first instinct shouldn't be to create distance and see what he does. I guess he can't hit you at first, actually. He's doing the arbitrary thing, even though I'm close to the ground. Yeah, it's going to be really difficult to get him over there. I guess I should just dance left and right over here. As soon as we heal up, we'll go again. Where did my summons go? Oh, I think as soon as I came back, there were too many buffs. Okay. 
And that's the last of our stimulants. We'll have to make some more after this. I got stuck on the terrain. Are you serious? Okay. There was like literally the smallest possible... I shouldn't have even been able to get stuck there. That should have just been... walkable. Now that I look at it. How did I get stuck? I... I don't understand. How did I get stuck here? What? Well, let's try again. Make sure we've got our dodge. This bit's a bit flatter, actually. And enemies trying to spawn on the right side are probably not gonna... ...get to us. Then again, this little spot right here doesn't look so good. fight is just... it's all rehearsal. It's learning the pattern probably off the wiki, counting the seconds of each little attack pattern, knowing exactly when without any visual or auditory cue that you can dash under him and things like this. We're just going to save it for when we're overpowered. We should be able to finish off this one, though. We came very close, even though I forgot about being forced into the sky and the boss despawning. What AOE am I using? Celebration. Seems good. I wish you could shoot these missiles down. They're so slow it feels like you should be able to. Oh, I thought I'd be able to get under that. Where is he? Oh, hello. Oh, I have no soaring insignia. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that still has the stompy bit. Uh, okay. 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 No? Could you get off me, please? Thank you. The boss is still alive, though. Okay, now it's just flying at me. That's... That's good and consistent. Yes. Yes, please. More of this. I 
dashed into it. Okay, just spawn those in the air, that makes sense. Could you hurry up and die, please? No? Did we get him? I think we got him. Let's make sure. What do we get? Realm Ravager. Negative 34% crit. Shoots a burst of 3 to 4 bullets, 100 range damage. It's a shotgun. Converts musket balls into explosive bullets. A solar eclipse is happening. I, I'm not in the mood for the solar eclipse, actually. Thank you. Thank you, but no thank you. One thing I don't quite love about the Dawnlight Spirit Origin, though. It makes it harder to know what enemy I'm looking at. If it's small. I don't think Realm Ravager is going to be relevant. I think this is another one of those bosses, probably, that doesn't drop loot uh, that's proportional to what a pain it is to kill. Sharp Ultimus Cleaver, 230 true melee damage. We've already got that meat. Oh, that's different. Damaging homing sparks and explodes on enemy hits. Uh, but the melee weapon that we had... This is 230, 205 melee damage with our current set. This is slightly higher, but the rate of... Oh my god, it hits things through the walls. Okay, that that is definitely going in our tool set uh, for melee. Yeah, that's that's some serious damage for the utility. Fleshy geode, right click to open. What do we get? Core of a bunch of stuff. Scoria bar. Flesh totem. Halves enemy contact damage. When you take contact damage, this effect has a 20 second cooldown. I was expecting some text like, this doesn't work with bosses. That is... That is pretty huge, especially for the glass cannon builds. That is actually ridiculously good. I take back that that boss doesn't drop anything, probably doesn't drop anything good because this scales like crazy and it's a material. Blood Pact doubles your max HP, allows you to be critically hit 25% of the time. Oh, so you... You don't normally take crit damage, but now you do. That's questionable. Hirotoshiroi, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. After a crit, you gain various buffs for 10 seconds. Any healing potions consumed during this time heal 50% more. Wait, what? What? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so that's the thing that it upgrades with. We're not just losing this effect. And then... Boosts your max hit points by only 15%. Uh... 
Uh, healing potions are 25% more effective. Halves enemy contact damage when you take 20 second cooldown. Well, that's a lot more consistent. Core of the Blood God. We need Cosmolite Bars. Ascendant Spirit Ensigns. Alright, that's not going to happen for a bit. But Flesh Totem... Uh, very impressive. This is a ridiculously good defensive item. The more of a glass cannon you are, the better it is. I might have to make room for it. Let's go re-roll it. First of all, let's put away stuff that we've already got quick stacking for. Um, I might have to kill Death uh, Ravager again. The Flesh Golem constructed using Twisted Necromancy during the time of my conquest to counter my unstoppable forces. Its creators were slaughtered by it moments after its conception. That's unfortunate. Uh, Ravager Relic. Let's see. This uh, Flesh Totem is going to be very helpful against farming the Ravager in particular. Right after Duke Fishron and before Lunatic, Lunatic Cultist. Where is Duke and the Cultist? Here they are. This thing frankly sucks. Uh, what's this? Hematemesis. Hematemesis? 108 magic damage. Oh. That's not what I was expecting. That's different. It's pretty weak, not to mention mana inefficient for where we're at. It's also not a material, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. What else is in the bag? Some stuff we can quick stack. And some more stuff we can quick stack. Rainium Smasher, 195 rope damage. Okay. Occasionally launches an explosion disc. Okay. Stealth strikes launch an explosion disc that can pierce several enemies. Whoa. Okay, that's different. That seems a bit more formidable. 5 mana, 86 damage. Asteroids give the molten buff on enemy hits. What is the molten buff? Right click to fire a spread of molten asteroids. Um, wow. Okay. I need a target up here. So is it a buff that I get? Resistant to cold effects. Wow. Still, what kind of DPS are we getting? Single target is hitting 2,000. Oh, Terra Prisma is doing a lot more than I thought. No, we do hit 2,000 sometimes. Uh, and then... does do AoE damage. Not that great for where we're up to, but... Well, yeah, just not that great, actually. So really, the prize is Flesh Totem. As far as I'm concerned. Uh, where was it? Ravager. What else does it drop? Corpus Avertor. 
rogue damage. It drops Blood Pact. But we need later game stuff to combine them. There's a summon. Necromantic Geode. Necromantic Geode. Consumable, right click to open. Oh, is that what I did open already? Fleshy Geode, Necromantic Geode, Divine Geode. Oh, wait, this isn't all from the same boss. Dab. Providence the Profaned. Ravager. Ravager. And Granite Golem. Okay. I guess I'll put this away down here. Uh, let's re-roll the... Oops. Oh, they're dead. No, they're not. Or... Wait, what? Not enough villagers close to the pylon. Huh? I don't understand. Did we lose our mechanic? Probably. What am I re-rolling? Uh, the totem. So I think I'll go menacing even though it's a defensive item. Because this thing's just perfect for glass cannon. The more damage we would have taken, the more damage it mitigates. So first we avoid all damage with a ninja belt. Uh, that's got a 90 second cooldown. And then sometime, sometime during those 90 seconds, we take a hit where we only take half damage. And that recovers every 20 seconds. Oh, there's our mechanic. And theoretically, we could get that half damage four times, but we probably wouldn't want to before the uh, dodge comes back. I don't want to hide that in here. Let's put it over this way. And I'll always know this is here. Okay. Uh, I need to make room. Did I get a menacing soaring insignia? Oh, don't tell me I sold the second one. That was a bit silly. Okay. Oh, if it's visible, it summons... What the hell? What? Does this do anything? Let's find out. It does not. Uh, I think the Calamity devs may need help. A waifu, right? Yeah. Boha, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let me just put this away. What was I... what did I have there? Honey. I haven't actually used the honey in ages. So I'm thinking... Probably the recon scope. No wait, it's 10% damage and crit. 
slightly better than the destroyer emblem. All ranged weapons will deal even more crit strike damage the slower they are. I don't know, this thing is so vague as to exactly how much you get out of it. It's hard to know. Let's do a test. I need some bullets. Uh, let's just use the Scorpia. Rockets are cheap enough. Wait, wait, wait. I don't think explosives work with it, do they? Explosive explosions or large projectiles cannot strike bullseyes. Also, did I just see that bullseye disappear? Even more crit strike damage the slower they are. When a bullseye is struck, it vanishes and a new one appears elsewhere. Does that mean for a moment there's going to be no crit bonus? If we're hitting this thing constantly? Let's go grab our bullets. Our testing bullets. Oh yeah. So you actually have to aim at the bullseye specifically as well. That's even worse. I don't think this thing's actually going to be all that good. I mean, it's a big crit, but like... But that's all it is. And only when you hit the specific spot on a target. So forget about homing bullets or anything. Um, I guess... Do we get crits from this? I don't think we can. Oh, there's a crit. I, I don't think this is even worth the accessory slot. Crits from AoE weapons? Uh, I don't think plan uh, Planetary Annihilation is actually AoE, although it'd be a bit difficult to show that it's not. Can I... Let's make a couple more of these. What would be the best way? No, I need regular target dummies, actually. Right next to each other. Or if I miss it, if I just, if I just barely miss it, and it doesn't deal damage, we can show that it's not AoE. Which is harder than it sounds. There it is. Yeah, there's no AoE in this. Let's put this back. So I think I'll just have two DPS items. Dash, flight, 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 and flesh totem. Alright, let's put this away. I'll probably never use that. What was the input for it? I probably have regrets um, that I used up 
Deadshot Breach? That wasn't that good, except it gives projectile velocity and ammo reduction. What else does it upgrade into? Oh, the arrow thing. Actually... Oh yeah, that's like plus 20% damage as opposed to plus 15 if we count crit. Which is definitely not bad. When can we get this? When we get Ascendant Spirit Essence. Spirit Essence is made from Bantuplasm, which we know how to get, Nightmare Fuel, which we don't, Dark Sun Fragment, Endothe... Okay, so that's a little ways away. Should we try killing this thing again? I will probably regret everything, but sure. away the endless musket pouch. Yeah, it's only guns. It, it's guns only for the zoom, not the damage with the recon scope. So that's good. Whoops. Waste of a telly. Uh, okay, let's try. Whoops. Oh yeah, I think it was a mage weapon that was much better for this, because it went straight through the rock pillars. Ow. Ow. C could you not just, like, arbitrarily fly directly onto me, no matter how I move? It disappeared, didn't it? No, I think we're good. And by that I mean in mortal danger. Ow. Not that big of an ow, actually. That we that accessory works delightfully well. I'm surprised. It seems like... It seems like in the final phase, the grounded part can't actually cause collision damage. Uh, we don't need a Realm Ravager. I'll take another Flesh Totem, just to be sure. We didn't get anything new, did we? Fleshy Geode. We do get all three of these bars, though. That's nice, even if not a whole lot of them. But we get everything we need to make life alloy just from that. A very small amount of life alloy. For some reason. I don't think we got anything new from that. Should we do it again? Whoops, whoops, whoops. Ow. Where is he? Should get just low enough so I can see him. Oh, you're up here now. Okay. 
already dead. Hover mode is actually amazing against this boss. Maybe it's only if it stumps on me that I take damage from that section. I could definitely see when we have lots of DPS, uh, this would be the easiest way to farm uh, life what's its. Life alloy. How much life alloy do we need to make things? Usually it's in volumes like five, right? Advanced display allows you to decrypt the underworld schematic. Oh, yes, please. Glass and some of this stuff. Uh, yes. A thousand times yes. Required objects, mithril anvil, slide, uh, comma, decrypt a schematic from the lab deep within the jungle. There's a schematic deep within the jungle, apparently. Um... I was hoping that we found a schematic down here and I just forgot about it, but I will go ahead and make the advanced display. So we just need some glass and we need this stuff, circuitry and plating. Mithril Anvil, Encrypted Schematic, oh you can make it? I think we did have a schematic or two though, let's make this first. Wait, where am I going? 10 Mysterious Circuitry, 10 Dubious Plating, 3 Life Alloy, and 20 Glass. Mithril Anvil, comma, decrypt this thing. Self and Cell, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. Uh, I was just trying to figure out how I'm supposed to make this advanced display. It says, required objects, Mithril Anvil, Bomber, decrypt a schematic from the lab deep within the jungle. So I'm guessing there's like a thing in the jungle that decrypts a thing somewhere, I, I guess. Ionic, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We didn't find this before, did we? No, there's our planetoid and schematic. Underworld schematics. I think we did find a science base somewhere in the jungle. I don't remember where it was, though. Somewhere down here? Is this it? Do we have a security chest? There we go. It's actually really close to the one in the underworld. Let's go get it. And for the moment, I'll put these in the waiting to be crafted into something chest. Uh, let's put this boss summon thing away. Spare flesh totem down here. And head on down.
fill the pot. Uh, my teleport's still on cooldown. Where are we going? Still a ways to go yet. jungle. We've got just a bit further to go. Oh, hello. Wait, I need to check every time we kill a bat that it didn't drop magma stone. Alright, is this where we're going, more or less? Nope, not even. only one. The rest of these are like fake. That is not what we're looking for. I will take the circuitry and stuff though. But what's this? Aged lab display. I don't think we're going to find what we're looking for here. It said we had to decrypt some, uh, decrypt a thing from deep within the jungle, and we had a hell of a time finding the temple earlier. So we've actually searched an enormous amount of the jungle already. So I don't know where we're gonna find this thing, or if I should have found it already. Oh, you're joking. Is that it? Inactive power cell factory. Okay. So back to our NPC homes in the jungle. And straight down to the nearest honey fishing spot. the end of this uh, rail track, I think. Down we go. Whoops, that was the wrong way. What weapon should I? Celebration, there we go. Okay, where was I going? Down here. Looks like Mo is throwing a party. Fantastic. And here we are. I don't. Oh, hello. Could you be persuaded to go somewhere else? No? Okay. Ow, that tickled. We have more plating and stuff. We've got... What is this? On the map it says... Bed? Wait, what? This doesn't look much like a bed. 
<laughs> the word, the words, uh, the word bed is in single quotes. Okay. What's in here? Encrypted schematic. Jungle. Fantastic. Let's put our stuff in the void bag. So that we can see what's what. Right, uh, click to view its contents. Huh? Do I need to do this? As I record this, it would not be a stretch to call the jungle the hub of this planet. All is centered around it, and none, none know not of it. That's an awkward way to say it. It brings me no small amount of unease to see the uncomfortable, raw forms of the living beings who pass through on their journeys above. Fortunately, these labs provide everything I need my research, need in my research and more. There is no need to ever visit the surface save for summons on the Lord's orders. How do I... Oh, there's more. A virus capable of devouring and converting almost anything, a nanotech constructed painstakingly for the sake of control. Development was swift, and every piece fell into place almost eerily, forming an abhorrent existence. I struggle to think of practical applications which would be... That's not a wraith in the corner of my eye, that's a repair bot. Uh, which would be friendly to common life forms. However, it's not a major concern. Many were hesitant to continue its creation, but I granted them leave if they desired. I would have no need for any who were not entirely as dedicated as my machines. Mechanically augmented the queen bee, which I had prior experimented on. Theoretically a perfect host for the plague virus. Was theoretically that. When the first sign of the technology bond with the creature began, however, the problems also showed immediately. The mind of the insect fought the control, and like nothing else, uh, nothing like the uh, simpler creatures I had used as test objects. It grew increasingly violent, and only once subdued did it receive simple orders. However, if we were to utilize it at all, there would there is no other way than to let uh, let it roam free entirely. Consider it further. How do I close this? Left click? Oh, here we go. And we've got some grab potions. Okay, anything else up here? Apparent danger while researching serves only to enhance the research experience. What? What's this? Nothing, actually. I don't think there's anything more to pick up here by the looks of it. I think we're good. Whoa, whoops. Let's see. Encrypted schematic jungle requires a code breaker with a fine-tuned long-range sensor to decrypt. What? Code breaker. Oh, here we go. Code breaker base. We need a charging station. Mysterious circuitry. GPS. All 18. We've got the charging stations. That's these things here, I think. Yep. And then... We need an anvil. Uh, am I not... Here we go. Code breaker base can be placed. Is there more? 
food. No? Did I miss something? I feel like that's probably not going to be enough. Um, let me just make some room for this here. Well, that's still not enough. Okay. How about... Pick this up. It, it doesn't want to be placed. It did say can be placed, right? Okay. No decryption computer installed. Decryption computer. Copper wire glass. Got wire over here. Copper and glass. Where did my glass go? I had lots of it and I picked it up for some crafting. Is it all in here? Oh, there it is. That's a bit much. Is that everything? No, we need what's in here. Uh, requires objects anvil view an unencrypted schematic from the lab near the sunken sea. More breadcrumbs. Okay. Let me just fix this up real quick. And the schematic in here. So apparently there's a lab near the sunken sea. That's not the sunken sea. This is the sunken sea. Uh, and I certainly didn't notice any labs close to it. Game Dude Junior, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Am I going to have to just search all around this to continue this thing? Probably. Alright, do we want to do a boss fight or something first? What do we have? Astrum Aureus. No, I'm, I'm not going to bother with him until we're super OP. We could maybe do Betsy now. Look through the sunken sea, you just haven't found it yet. So it's in the sunken sea. Okay. Uh, I want to see if we can do Betsy though. We should maybe have the deeps for that by now. I probably have these, yeah, Eternity Crystals stashed, but whatever. Um, let's get some sentries. Oh, I don't think I have an updated sentry. Are they in here? Best ones we can buy cost a hundred. I definitely haven't spent that much. We've got 84. Defender medals, that is. But the sentries don't actually make that much of a difference. Uh, let's see. I've got explosive trap cane as opposed to rod. That's the second tier. I'll just use the Ballista Rod. I don't think it's going to make much difference. Uh, let's turn off our automatic vertical door thing. And... I think we're ready. Let's 
seems good. Oh, where did my celebration go? There we are. Dragon's Log. Oh, I already looked at this. This is fine. Cell Raid, indeed. Bloody Drungo. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So this is obviously the easy part. In fact, I don't think there's really a section of this that is likely to give us trouble. Except for the very last part. Very well, thank you. Good to hear it. How many rockets have I got? Over 9,000. Oh, crap. Okay, we almost took damage. You can never repair it. And... Oh, wow, that... That sentry is rather effective. That's good. What's it called? Rainbow Crystal Staff from the Moon Lord. Which weapon? I think I'll use the Planetary Annihilation when Betsy shows up. Do we have two? One, two. I could probably go more, even more glass cannon than this, since you generally get through without taking a hit. You can't afford to take a hit with the Old One's army. They hit very hard. It's just about seeing if you have the damage to stop them. damage if I cloaked. There we go. And let's get that sentry back up. So there's two types of sentry here. Uh, one is the kind of sentry that you get before they added this uh, mini game, And the other costs Ethereum mana, which we can have as many of these as we can get Ethereum mana. Let's put a couple more ballistas here. I really don't expect anything of the ballistas except for slowing the enemy down. I think it's wave 7, where Betsy shows up. And you would think we're ridiculously over-leveled for this, but actually the amount of damage you need to 
to stop the boss compared to the rest of it is kind of crazy. Sentries. Whoops. Oh, that's fine too. Not as good for the groups though. Okay, almost time for the main event. And this will really just be a race to kill the boss and ignore everything else. Oh, it's attacking the crystal again. Previously, it's attacked me, and that actually gives me a lot more time. Yes? Come at me, not the crystal. No, at me! Are we good? No, we lost. Oh my god. That's disappointing. Maybe if I fly higher, she'll chase me. That's what she's always done before. Savage Flying Dragon. Wait, did we get it? Betsy, we did not get it. It doesn't count as killing her. We, we killed her, but it doesn't count as far as the uh, the boss log is concerned. Because we didn't win the event. Okay. I guess we'll try again shortly. Uh, I'm going to take a quick break though. We'll do some words on stream in the meantime. Uh, I hope it'll work this time actually. Because the last time... Every time you say Planetary Annihilation makes me think of the RTS game. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Data Gnome, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. Um, can I not... What if I go log out? Log back in. Hey, Ben Wu. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Copy link. Properties. It's the same link. I'm a little worried this isn't going to work because last time it just wasn't accepting words. But uh, we'll give it a try. We'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in just a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Is it busted? It's busted. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, we've only got a little while left, so I'll just make the break short. Let's try, since we've got it all set up, uh, one more time. Wait, did I just get another 88 Defender Medals? Oh, I did. Let's get better sentries. Oops. You can go ahead and take... Ballista Rod off my hand. He doesn't actually buy them. Uh, shop. I think the Ballista Rod is generally the best one. I mean, Explosive Trap is really good as well, except it makes an awful noise. Yeah, we'll probably go for the Ballista Staff. I wish these uh, armor sets were a bit more exciting, but what can you do? Let's stack these things away. Sell this. We'll keep the headstone, we have a use for that. I wonder what this sword does. Oh, interesting. It's relatively tame for how late in the game you get it. 263 melee damage. Is it that strong in vanilla? I wonder. Oh, I meant to get some more crystals. I will remind you to fix words on stream next break if you take another one. Uh, I tried. I didn't just give it another go. Like, I logged out and logged back in and asked it for another link. It turned out to be the same link. So... I guess we'll just have to hope it's working next time, like tomorrow. Um, but yeah, like, I, I, I did the... tried turning it off and on. Everything that's in my power to try to fix it. And... I didn't see any difference. Right, let's get rid of the sensor. And... I have to remind myself still that just pressing... One key teleports now. I don't have to select a weapon. I almost missed that teleport. Okay. Let's get... started. I don't know if we can speedrun this at all, or if it's on a set amount of time, actually. I could try out the Mushroom Sniper. Except I don't really want to waste proper bullets that we have to farm for. Yeah, I think we'll stick with Celebration. Oh, I didn't realize I had Nano Purge over here as well. We'll Could probably save a little ammo that way. Uh, what are we doing? A couple more sentries. shouldn't have let that happen. It's minimal. Well, it's actually almost 5%. Oh, it does regenerate. I didn't know that. It's very slow, though.
I don't think it's going to hit full health if it never takes another hit. But it's better than nothing. One, two. Even the top tier of sentries is doing almost nothing. Maybe there's a better sentry that I could pick to slow them down. No rainbow crystal this round? Oh, I forgot about that. Thank you. I don't usually carry it. Maybe I should. I'm never actually using this sniper rifle. I could put it up here. I'm never using the uh, ice rod either. In fact, let me put this here for now. Whoops, that was more than I meant to put over there. It's fine. Yeah, the rainbow crystal is extremely helpful to say the least. Even if it did very little damage, uh, that would be very helpful. space to pick up the stupid crystals. There we go. What do we got? Three sentries on either side, four on this side. Not really fit one on the right over here though. Let's just spam them wherever. actually super effective, I might not even bother changing weapon, even though it's not dealing AoE. Okay, 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 okay. Wave 5 complete. And once more. One more wave till the boss. And I was thinking maybe I should try using the bullet weapon again. Even though it's DPS is a lot lower than everything hits with, if everything hits with planar, uh, planetary annihilation, it's going to deal, deal a lot more damage, but with how difficult Betsy was to hit with that, maybe we should try the bullets. Considering that it is stronger than the Space Dolphin machine gun, and I used the Space Dolphin machine gun to pull it off last time. Maybe this is the way to go.
Okay, it's on. Where is she? Oh, get out of the ground. How dare you. Okay, come at me. No, come at me, not the... Not the crystal. Oh no. Oh, I think we're winning. Sentry is probably helping. I think we got this. We got this. Fantastic. Didn't even take damage when she ran into me because of dodge. What's all that? Nothing? Nothing. Alright. Boss checklist? Uh, Betsy. Fantastic. Let's put our logic sensor back. Nice. And we can put the ballista away. Yeah, a sentry makes a, a lot of sense for these slots that I haven't been using, actually. Let's go put the crystals away. Put the log back in here. And we should have a Betsy relic. We already had a Betsy relic, but still. Where does Betsy go on our list of trophies? Uh, right after Martian Saucer. And before the plague bring a Goliath. Here she is. Fantastic. You're very organized. I am somewhat organized. Uh, hidden in a lot of these chests is some stuff where I got lazy. But it's relatively good. I'm, I'm considering, even in the middle of this playthrough, adding magic storage. Um, like, I'll keep a lot of, of the layout and stuff, but we'll be able to do a lot more with the storage and be able to search it and stuff like that. Um, we already had Dark Mage Relics, I'm pretty sure. Headstone goes over here somewhere. We want to keep those so that we can make a graveyard biome if we need to. I would really advise you to do that. Yeah, it's getting over the top. Like, it's getting to the point where I feel like just quick trashing a lot of stuff. Don't need the ice rod. Um, and I, I was thinking about the Astrum... what is it called? Astrum Aureus fight? I used tanky melee build just to sort of scout it out a bit to see how he moves, but I think I actually should use melee to fight this, since it'll just be directly in front of me the whole time. I can use true melee, lots and lots and lots of damage. Uh, might not be that weak, as opposed to long-ranged melee stuff. Uh, but that's for tomorrow. Let's see who is streaming today. Preferably Terraria, but we'll see. Anyone doing Calamity, perhaps? Hardcore Master? Modded with Calamity. Alright, let's have a peek. Hmm. 
Wait, what? Oh, wrong channel. There we go. Alright, uh, thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. We'll continue tomorrow with Calamity. And a couple of days after that, we'll be back to Oxygen Not Included. Take care, Ben Wu. Thanks for dropping by. And everyone else as well. Don't know what weapon is this is that they're using. Thanks for the stream. Thanks for hanging out. Bowshock, take care. Have a good one. You too. I do agree.